Civilization is a vulnerable thing, a whim of circumstance. At any time, the smallest flap of a butterfly's wings may set catastrophe in motion. Haran, an entire city wiped from the map. Those left behind there did not stand a chance. The world's greatest minds came together and found a vaccine against the Haran virus. Finally, mankind had prevailed against the disease. But people always want more. Despite a promise to shutter its labs, the GRE continued its research in secrecy for military purposes. It didn't take long for a variant of THV to escape into the world once more. The fall happened more rapidly than anyone could have predicted. The few who survived now live in small enclaves. The only means of contact between distant human settlements are lone individuals, brave or desperate enough to travel on their own across dangerous wastelands. They are known as pilgrims. Somewhere on the map, one city is still standing. A city isolated from the outside world. A city with special rules. Now, it's the last bastion of humanity. A chance for us to learn from history. And for once, make the right choices. Because every choice you make here shapes the future. Irreversibly.
got it. You know, this game used to be more fun. <laughs> you used to be younger. I'm dumber. What matters is, you're still just as fast. Because a slow pilgrim yeah, is a, a dead, dead pilgrim. pilgrim. Yeah, I know, I know. Get up here. I want to show you something. Shit, man. You're still strong. Thanks. It's good to see you, Spike. I mean, how long has it been? Far too long. But don't get all mushy on me now. Come. I want to show you something. Where are we going? You'll see. It's incredible. What's incredible? Most pilgrims don't last two, three years on the road. Are you been kicking around for what? Four years now? And you're still alive. So are you. I know, but I'm fucking awesome. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, right, right. Seriously, I wish I had as much energy as you. Got a new lead on Jane? Nah, trail went cold after New Paris. Which route did you take? Through Baines or Gary? Eh, Baines. What a shithole. Some five rickety huts left and a ramshackle fence. <laughs> Look at that. A beehive full of honey. Can't let an opportunity like this go to waste. Uh, no way. Oh, look around. If we're lucky, there's chamomile growing here, too. This will do. Do you remember that old herbalist we helped escort to her village? Oh, yeah, the one that had that saying, uh... Remember, chamomile and honey are gifts that keep giving. Combine them and lucky you. You just might go on living. Come on, we're almost there. This is it. Come on. had a nice crib. Damn it, locked. I'll try to get through here. You check the other side. Take anything we could use. Yeah, sure. Nothing here. Nothing in here. What the? Hey, everything all right? 
Yeah, just rats. I think it's time we parted ways. Why? I'm starting to worry about you. And you know our saying. If you're starting to worry about someone, it means it's time to go. Party. Uh, but by then the GRE would have long since lost control of the virus. I wonder how the wine tasted back then. Who do you voodoo? Hmm. <laughs> Sounds familiar. That's what they called art? Nada. Zip. It's heartbreaking. There's nothing like a party to celebrate the end of the world. Uh, they died on their own terms. Let's hope we get that lucky, too. <sighs> I'll see what's upstairs. You check out the garden, okay? Okay. they had each other.
Dearest Mary, I'm sorry I ran from you. They say that once the virus makes you turn, you're gone forever. That can't be true. I know you're still in there, underneath all that pain and disease. I'm coming to join you. No more running. God. Abe, come here. Check this out. Sit down, buddy. For you. A gift? A gift from the heavens, to be more accurate. I've just found it, by the owner's dead body. May it be of more use to you. Here. It's gone flat. <laughs> Look at you and your sophisticated palate. Drink. Who would have thought the end of the world could be so peaceful? Yeah, at least until night falls. True. I wish Crane could have seen this. Wh who? Doesn't matter. I tracked down that guy for you. What, what, what guy? Quit pretending. You became a pilgrim to track that fucker down. Waltz, I found someone who knows him. Hey, what? And you're only telling me now? Huh, <laughs> when I tossed you a beer, thought you'd guess right away we were celebrating. The guy's in Villador. Supposedly he knows something about Waltz. Villador. So I'm that close, huh? Hey, I got a favor to ask you. You deliver this to Gary, it's on your way. People don't like pilgrims there, but, but they pay well. And where do people like pilgrims? Well, they're afraid of us. Everyone does their best to survive. Maybe. But when something needs to be transported through the hordes of infected, then suddenly they're knocking on our doors. All right. But you owe me one. Uh, not just one. So what about that guy? Well, I talked to him over the radio. He didn't tell me his name. Sounds like he's got something to hide. See that antenna on the hill? That'll help you contact the informant. He'll be listening for you at dawn on a frequency of 140.200 megahertz. Told him he'd hear from you soon. What does he want in return? Didn't say. But he didn't sound like the kind of guy who does things for free. I don't think that kind of guy exists. What? What about me? You're an old fart who likes racing me and makes me ask around about his crazy girlfriend. Hey, hey, hey. She's not crazy. Jane's just maybe, well, a little hot-headed. And she's always getting herself into trouble. But if you could get a load of her... <laughs> Whoa, all right. Still too early in the evening for that sort of talk. Eyes? I was gonna say eyes. Beautiful. Steely. Huge. Never heard anyone get so worked up about gray eyes. Because you don't know shit about the world, let alone women. Yeah, you're probably right. I'm telling you, I'll finally find Jane. We'll set up a house. We're gonna live there. No one's gonna drive us out. And I'll stop wondering like a moron. I'll drink to that. And that Waltz. What's his deal? Is he family? No, not at all. Then why are you looking for him? Will you tell me sometime? Yeah. Yeah, one day. Well, my time's up. So when will I see you again, huh? In another two years? Maybe. Take care, man. I hope you find that Waltz guy. 
or whoever you're looking for. And remember, 140.200 megahertz. At dawn, the guy's waiting for you.
Almost there. <laughs> oh, it's already dark. It's time to hide somewhere for the night. It won't get any better than this. Broadcast station should be here somewhere. Yeah. <laughs> 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 
Like now? No, when we're <laughs> old. No, Aidy. We need supplies. Everything's ready. It's so quiet. Where is everyone? Maybe they're all dead. <laughs> You're stupid. Let's go. Now. Wait here. Nothing good will come of this. Have you brought 12346? We were supposed to take the patients back to the city. Don't worry. They'll let us go soon. Baby, I'm scared. I'm here with you. You're safe with me.
what I tell you. Easy. Jesus. Even if they separate us, this is how we'll always find each other. will be here any moment. Wait. Close your eyes. Time to contact the guy Spike was talking about. On frequency 140.200 megahertz. Hello? Aiden? Yes. I was supposed to get in touch with you. I thought you'd change your mind. Why are you looking for Waltz, Pilgrim? To find someone else. Her name is Mia. Fifteen years ago, we were in a hospital together and... I know who you're looking for, Aiden. You want to know why Waltz was doing those experiments on all of you. Why you are stronger, more durable than others. I just want to find Mia. I've been looking for her since I left the survivor's camp. I... Can you help me or not? Maybe I can. Let's meet, Pilgrim. Where and when? Entrance to the metro tunnel by the bay. You can get inside the tunnels through an open GRE hatch. I'll meet you there. I take it you're not doing this for free. I have to leave the city, but I won't make it on my own outside. Take me to New Paris, and we're even. Along the way, I'll tell you everything I know. Over and out. Wait. I have to at least know if she's alive. She's alive. I'm going to the rendezvous. I'll see you later, Rita.
Hello? It's Aiden. Can you hear me now? Loud and clear. That means you must be close. I swam across the lake. So, you've almost reached the tunnels. There's an entrance. The only one the GRE left when they sealed off the city. I'm coming from the other side. Hurry up. What's wrong? Hurry. Entering the tunnels. Hey, can you hear me? I'll meet you soon. Here I come. Hey, is anybody there? Shit, this doesn't look good. Oh my god. Are you all right? Fuck your bit me. A volatile. Lots of those fuckers in the sewers. You must get to the light quickly. Where's Mia? Uh, later. We have to move. <laughs> Resist it. It'll pass. <laughs> Just stay strong. Didn't have it on him. Let's go! I don't have the key. I swear! <clears throat> I destroyed it. I did this. Both be able to get up to hurt and I'll open up.
want the name. Dad! Where did you hide our key, boy? I don't know what you're talking about. Let him go. You gonna make us let him go, punk? I'd sure like to see you do that. Burn it! <laughs> Who was that? There's no time. In my pocket. I left you something. What is this? A GRE access key. The peacekeepers, they found it. We cannot lose it. You were gonna tell me what happened to my sister. Where's Mia? You will go to Fisheye. There. Ask for a girl named the one. Give that to her. With it and her help, you'll learn. You will learn everything. Understand? Protect it. If Waltz gets his hands on it, the whole city, everyone will die. Waltz? Is Waltz here? He is. They're coming. You hear that? Renegades, run! We'll go together. Take this. Hey, let's go. What the fuck? There's our lost lamb, and he's not alone. We can fix that. Slaughter him. You don't like to fight.
But I'm looking for him. You we... idiot. He'll kill you if he finds you. Dylan! Fuck. Get to the vent. Quick. This way. You first. What are you doing? Waltz can't get the GRE key, remember? What? Let me out! Fish high. The one. Go! Pass the traitor! Uh, I did it. <laughs> hey, fellas. <laughs> Not yours. You can't. Where is it? In here. This is the end. I'm sorry. <sighs> Getting misty? Not really. You're only dying. Before zero hour, my grandfather raised horses. Beautiful rare breeds. I love them dearly. One day his most beloved horse fell off the slope and broke his leg. I thought Grandpa would help him, but he just pulled out his pistol and put it in my hand. He told me, you're doing it for him. Then he pressed my finger on the trigger. I screamed. I wanted my grandfather to die. But years later, I realized what must be done must be done. You leave me no choice, my friend. Someone's here. In the bed! Get it! Happening. 
Is this? He doesn't have a biomarker. A what? He's moving. Hack on? Kill him, hack on. Kill him before I do it for you. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Relax. Breathe. <laughs> Seems he hasn't turned. Seems? Hack on, I don't want that here. You've come back to us. Blink if you understand. Ah. My head. <sighs> You were on the verge of turning, but UV light and inhibitors pulled you back. Uh, the bat helped too, of course. You're alive. Let's keep it that way. Guy almost kills us all and you're chatting him up? Girls, relax. They're frightened. You almost destroyed their workshop. We need to move out. Can you walk? But I, I don't understand. Where are we going? To a safe place. I gotta get to the fish eye. The fish eye? Without the biomarker, you won't get near it. What the hell is that? Biomarker. Monitors the disease's progression in the dark. That's your ticket into the city. Without it, uh, stepping out of the light is sort of a lottery. You don't know when you'll turn. You need a biomarker, and I know where to find one. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> Relax. Everything's under control. It'll be fine, hey? You're weak. Take a minute. Drink. Seriously? What next? Maybe we should draw him a bath. Sounds pretty cozy to me, ladies. Uh, maybe next time. Get banned, half on. <sighs> she adores me. <sighs> Why are you helping me? Let's get to know each other and find out. You go first. Where'd you get all those? None of your business. You're careful. Good. You live longer. You a real pilgrim? Or did you steal that badge? I'm a... I was, I was a pilgrim. An hour to dusk. I'm serious, Hakon. He's not staying the night here. Here. Your weapon and your radio. Not even a pilgrim could get by without that. Come on, let's go. <laughs> Not 
bad. Where's the fish eye? The canteen is there, in the center, past the chemical dumps. Huh. But I need to get there. Too bad. Only way to go is through the tunnel. They protect it like a portal to the fucking Valhalla. Near impossible to get through. Well, can you help me? You seem to be familiar with the city. I've lived in this city since before the world got fucked up. I could help you, but... You need a biomarker. You won't get far without it. Where are you from? Pretty far, I guess. About 2,000 kilometers. Oh, shit. How the heck did you not get infected? That's easy. Didn't let him bite me. Here it's different. Here we're all infected. Heard of Haran. They isolated Villador too. They built walls. They locked us in. Turned out to be the thing that saved us. And how do you get a biomarker? Uh, you can't get them. Unless you know the right people. And I do. Let's go. By the way, I'm Hakon. I'm Aiden. Nice to meet you, Aiden. Welcome to paradise. Oh, you do know the moves. I was in the military. Special unit? For seven years. I even liked it, except when I didn't. For insubordination, got blacklisted and they zeroed my bank account. I ended up driving a cab. Ouch. Now the mighty have fallen. <laughs> <laughs> You're too weak. Without an inhibitor, you won't last. Didn't I smash everything in sight last time you gave it to me? That was just the first time. But then it gets better, if you survive, of course. Catch! You're telling me I could have died? If I hadn't given it to you, you would have died anyway. So, why are you helping me? I know people are generally scared of you guys. But one pilgrim saved my life. I was a pilgrim. Now I'm infected. It'll be much harder to travel. Then welcome to your new beginning, my friend. Check out this place. They're like treasure chests. Usually got good stuff in them. Check it out. I'll wait. People hide a lot of things in places like this. In case someone can't make it back to a shelter before dark. What's that? Crystals. Someone must have stashed them here. They formed after the chemicals were dumped on us. Some believe they delay infection. Folk superstition. 
So you don't collect them? Sure I do. Superstitious people pay a fortune for them. And I am always happy to take someone's cash. There's one specific chest I'm after. Come on, let me show you. They treat people like that, too. Watch out for them. They guard the tunnel you want to go through. Tell me more about them. They consider themselves righteous protectors. They are good at killing infected, so you got to give them credit for that. They're pretty efficient killers. Yeah, but their righteousness comes with a price. Always remember this. You either play by their rules, or you're fucked. Their protection of the bazaar is more like an occupation. Now, on the trail, I met a lot of tough guys who talked about the new order. It always seemed like the same old shit to me. Yeah, it's like that here too. And the PKs are getting worse. I'll proceed with caution. Good. Though it might not help. The PK are a pain. Seriously riling up the bazaar, folks. The bazaar is a box of dynamite one spark away from blowing up. Hey, are we going? You uh, wanted to show me something? Sure. Follow me. Surprises. It's getting dark. They are about to wake up. Quickly, open the chest. In return, we'll get your biomarker. Fuck. Thieves. Wait. No, 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 leave it. Mess up that lock and everything's fucked anyway. Enough for a biomarker? Where'd you get that? I've been all over this city more than most, but even I haven't seen working GRE equipment for years. I'm looking for someone. Someone important. And uh, this should help me find her. But where did you get it? It's better for you not to know. Believe me. If you say so. Fuck me. We took too long. Plan B. Run like hell. Hayden! You there? I'm okay. I'm okay, I think. We need to find the UV lamp. The bazaar. We can make it. Follow me. Quick! They're close. Go on! Over 
there, toward the light. Can you hear that? We're almost there. A bit further. Open up! Hello! Stand in the light. Hack on. Uh... Come on! Open up now! Hack on, a howler's coming. Oh, fuck. Biomarkers. There's no time. We've got the howler on our asses. Biomarkers. Didn't you hear? Behind us! I said biomarkers. Here. And his? He's with me. I have to see his biomarker. Let us just inside the door at least. I need to see his biomarker. How about some electronics, huh? Fucker! Open up! Oh. Oh. <laughs> you piece of... Friends here, huh? Killian! Keep them busy! Killian! Fuck! Killian! Come on! Killian! I took over my body this morning and get killed! Company. Back on, get us in there! I'm trying. Killian, I know you're there! Oh, shit. <laughs> Is that all of them? I think so. Help me. Damn it, Gillian. Should have waited a while longer. Almost did. Didn't want to clean your guts off my doorstep in the morning. They've left, so can you. Oh, come on. Stop being such a bastard already. Look at this. Where did you... That's rare. Invite us in, or it'll get even more rare. Who is this? Huh. 
I'm a pilgrim. Haven't been here long, have you? How did you get into town? I'll tell you everything. Just let us in. I waited for a pilgrim once. He was supposed to... Ah, oh, forget it. Doesn't matter anymore. What are you up to, Hakon, huh? I gave him an inhibitor. He survived. Are you mad? He needs a biomarker. Don't have one. Bullshit. Seriously. <sighs> Motherfucker. The hospital, then. I was hoping to avoid it. Always looking for an easy way, huh, Hakon? I just need a UV lamp. I'll come back for you. Hold tight. Hakon, why are you helping him, huh? Remember when we used to help people? Me? Sure. But I doubt you do. Stay here and rest by the lamp. Don't listen to that dumbass. <sighs> Idiot. We used to help people, remember? Sure, I remember you. funny. Did you make it? Almost. Biomarkers are at the GRE hospital. I'll be there shortly, but to get the job done, I need you to join me. Where should I go? With Killian's door to your back, you'll be pointing right at it. Hold the line. I know. Don't want to go up against any of those anytime soon. Once I was taking my second wife to the hospital. Never drove that fast in my life. Her waters broke three months early. You have kids? There was no saving that one. And other than that, none that I know of. Sorry. It's fine. What normal person would want his kids to see a world like this? The lock is broken. Don't worry. Find the old bus. A bus? At zero hour, a bus crashed into the hospital. Broke through the wall. You can use it to get inside. Since no one could get in, there's a good chance there'll be some markers left. I'm at the main entrance. I marked a safe route for you. I'm waiting by the lock. <laughs> Search. 
When it all got fucked, they grabbed research volunteers. They paid them loads of money. What was the result? A lot of shit. Just a little more. We don't have much time. Stay close to me. You know how to open locks? Sure. Turn the key. What if you don't have a key? Hakon, I've traveled thousands of kilometers. You think doors are a problem for me? <laughs> okay, just checking. I think this room should have all the instruments you need, Maestro. I found some scrap. You can make lockpicks out of that. Good work. Huh? You didn't lie. You know your stuff. I had no other choice. Was forced to know my stuff. <gasps> what the hell? Mia? Eddie, where are you? That's a bad idea, Mia. If it was a good one, it wouldn't be fun. What are you doing? Mia, not on the wall. Stop talking and give me your hand. Okay? Yeah. Are you sure? God. Talk to me. This hospital. I've been in one like this before. A GRE facility. Well, there are a few of them around the city. I'm having these... these memories. The person I'm looking for is Mia. She's my sister. 
There was a guy here named Waltz. I don't know. It's all mixed up in my head. Uh, you suppressed the memory. Like I did of my third wife. Uh, look, I'm sure the infection ain't helping. Chin up. We'll find the marker and clear out. Let's go. Yeah, thanks. That. Chemicals. Nasty shit. When they lost control of the virus, the GRE started spraying the whole city with that filth. Worked out great for them, huh? <clears throat> mm-hmm. Because I remember he was doing some kind of experiment. <sighs> he wasn't the only one doing them. There were more cities like Villador, with walls cut off from the rest of the world. Many people were working toward a vaccine, Aiden. But, well, the world is full of shitheads. Ugh! <sighs> 
You alive? I guess so. Can you climb up? Sure, just give me a sec. Hurry. We're running out of time. I can't make it. Wait. I've got an idea. Remember the cocktail I served you earlier at the girls' workshop? Inhibitors. Exactly. You fell to the first floor. There's some GRE storage down there. Look for white, green crates. Inhibitors should be inside. If you take another dose, you should get your strength back. Scared, Mia. Yeah, me too. And I'm younger. Don't be a chicken, Edie. What if the doctor sees us? He won't. Besides, he'd have to catch us too. Come on, don't back out now. Don't be a chicken, Edie.
took the inhibitor. Fantastic. Go back to the elevator. I'm waiting. <sighs> But good to go. Yeah, that's great. Sorry about this. What? Sorry about what? <laughs> about that. On behalf of all its whores, bandits, and idiots, I christen you a citizen of Villador. <laughs> You're about to turn. Get into the night fast. Close. Oh, what would you do without me, Pilgrim? <laughs> I never wanted to become a pilgrim. I just sort of fell into it. Roamed the country for another reason entirely. I'm looking for my sister. And then what? And then? What will you do once you find your sister? I haven't thought about that. Well, that's odd. Well, there'll be time for that, once I find her. Once you find her? Well, I have a very specific plan. You look like someone with a specific plan. I'd like to live by the ocean. You know, it's supposed to be easier there. I always wanted to learn how to surf. What, you find a bunch of old postcards or something? Ah, don't laugh at my dreams, man. I know one thing. I have to get out of this city. It's killing me, right from the inside. Will you help me? The ocean's a long way from here. And we're both infected. People don't want pilgrims for their neighbors. Fuck, people. I will help you with them. And you can help me survive on the road. You know the routes. You know how to survive out in the open. What do you think? We cover each other's asses. How does that sound? Okay. Let's do it. Awesome. Deal. You won't regret this, Aiden. I promise. As for your goal, here's the situation around here. After the PK commander was murdered, they blocked the route to the center. They're trying to keep the killer from escaping. To get to Fisheye, we have to outsmart them. But I know when they change the night guard. That will be our chance. I'm gonna get the stuff we'll need for the passage. I have to suss out our odds. Meantime, take a look around. Live a little. Uh, come on. Let me show you something. You'll need these. Take a look around the city. Old Villador. Plenty of interesting spots to check out. You 
see the church? That's where the Howlers were after us. It's the center of the district. Uh-huh. You can find notice boards with missing people around the city. One of them is near the church. Maybe somehow you'll find something about your sister there. And if not, just have fun. The world's already ended, right? How could things get any worse? I'll be back in touch when I've got a handle on things.
Your eyes are bloodshot. Did you spend the night outside? I've heard stories about an incredible rose garden inside one of the houses.
Where you going? What a day. No frigging way I can do it. Five years of learning and all for nothing. Easy money. I just Howie's have to get it right this time. Boy, oh, Bruno needs to I'm see me good enough. Basco. Basco. Classic car, huh? Haven't seen you around here. tournaments. Five years of learning. What's the problem? Hey, aren't you the pilgrim they wanted to hang? Man, you were in luck there. I could use some of that luck. I'm Alberto's apprentice. Not for long, probably. It's the third time I'm taking a shot at this test. If I fail again, Craftmaster Alberto's gonna kick me out. What's this test about? Our goats. They're kept in cages because they eat crops. But life in cages makes them sad, and they give less milk. So I came up with the idea of a fence, energized with just a tiny bit of voltage. That would keep the goats under control, but let them produce more milk. I called this invention the electric fence. 
So what seems to be the problem with this invention of yours? I just need some electric parts. I'll dismantle them for resistors and other useful things. I'm missing a few parts, and they're not that easy to get. I'm worried I won't be ready on time. Maybe you could help me. If you find them for me, I'll give you one of my super cool inventions. Nothing to do with goats, I hope. Nah, something much more interesting. You'll see, as far as I know, they could be found in two places. One's an old hardware store on Fitzwilliam Place, near the water tower. Alberto says they'll be there for sure, but it's a dark place, full of turned creatures. You have to go there at night. And the other option? Whatever's left of military patrols. I know of one place south of Horseshoe, near the old electrical substation. <laughs> Looks like you're in luck after all. I have the parts you need on me. Are you serious? That's just fantastic. Heaven must have sent you. Hey, here. I don't know how to thank you. One more thing. Could you help me set up my show? My installation's right outside the main entrance. Turn it on, please. I'll go get Alberto. Wait till he sees it. Meet me by the goat pen, then, near the wall. I heard that this time, the Carnage Hall tournament will be more... Aiden, how's it been, kid? Got a taste for city life yet? Uh, I've been here and there. You know, the best part is always happening in the center. And that's where we're going. I have a plan for how to get there. I'll tell you everything on the spot. Meet me on the roof, near the main metro station. And nobody's doing anything about it. It was raining. Uh, how do I start though? Everything all right? No. It's grilled. The goat is grilled. I'm such an idiot. What happened? I must have overcalculated the voltage. See, he's useless. I'm sorry. I don't know how I could get it so wrong. I told you it would be a waste of time. Why? I don't think so. This is very, very. It has big, huge. You're saying it has potential. Potential, yes. It could be an effective weapon. A weapon? It's a ready formula. If you just use it on a weapon, it could raise your odds against turned creatures. The brave goat gave its life to science. There's dinner for everyone. And you? I take you as a... Uh, and pronounce you, uh, uh, a, uh, craftmaster? Really? Oh my gosh, thank you, thank you. We'll talk later. Come, Vincenzo. I can't thank you enough. Here, take this. If it's not strong enough, come around to my craftmaster workshop. Sure, thanks. Just, uh, watch yourself out there. Okay? No worries, friend. I heard that this time the Carnage Hall tournament will be more. Bacon's been showing you around, huh? Demolish and blows up the competition. You have come to the right place.
You have a keen eye, my boy. A pleasure, my boy. Anyone got duct tape to trade? I got masks. Send a message. You don't discreetly kill a military. The first leader. tournament in three Did years. They'll attract the toughest the fighters PK in the commander. city. What do you think? Ader must have been pleased. Well, if he was, hey, back off. he didn't show it. What the hell is going on in the central loop since PK's restricted access? Some say the renegades are about to attack. Aiden, do me a favor and climb up there. We need the windmill back on. Hey there. Rehearsing for the big night? Where did you come from, handsome? I heard you, uh, singing. Don't lie to Lola, sweet cheeks. Bet you thought someone was strangling a cat. Uh, not at all, I, I... See this, Nick? You shouldn't be able to. Usually, it's wrapped in the softest, most rare of mink stoles. Lola was the grand dame of the bazaar. But until reunited with her beloved mink stole, 
She is unfit to perform. But how will Lola dazzle anyone without her beloved Mink Stole? Without it, I can't hit the high notes. And you don't see Mink scampering about everywhere, do you? Now, where is it? Earlier, a strong gust of wind ripped it from Lola's tender throat and carried it away. I saw it flapping from the scaffolding near the GRE quarantine at the intersection of Market and Horseshoe. Lola is powerless to retrieve it. Uh, I could. Would you? Lola could return to the bazaar to entertain, not frighten children like a lurking screamer. Well, we can't have that. No, indeed. Thank you, my knight in shining... whatever it is that you're wearing. I shall await you at the bazaar. Hurry, my fans await. on me. Damn it. Okay, sit down. Don't want you passing out on me. It must have noticed how handsome you are and tried to pollinate you. <laughs> oh, very funny. It really hurts. Don't start crying now. Got anything for the pain? <laughs> Maybe it was a zombie? <laughs> Good one. Could be me. <laughs>
botch a job so badly in my life. I thought I could trust them. You couldn't have screwed it up more than you did. Easy for you to say. You were there. And I'm sure that like such. But it killed the battles of the spot. No, no, sister. Don't recognize me? Or are you allergic to making money? Listen, Pilgrim. We can make a killing, you and me. You just need to get me some beets, radishes, parsnips. There he is. Grab him, Ed. He's a murderer. What? Julian, Luke's been poisoned. From the water you sold him, Devin says. What? But... I don't sell water. Liar. Luke told me he got it from you. Whatever's in it has him ranting and raving now. You sure he didn't blame me after he started ranting? Oh, well, wait a minute. Do you have proof? Of course. The water came in a bottle. Luke got that water in one of your bottles. When I tell Carl about this, you'll hang! Bevan, wait! I swear, I don't even sell water, damn it! If you're lying, Julian, you're fucking toast! Find something you like in the bazaar? Wait, so then, if you're not selling water, how'd someone get a hold of one of your bottles? Knowing that shithead Luke, he probably stole it. That would be like him. Even if he did, my water's pure as melted snowflakes. You sure? How do you store it? I buy bottles. There's no way it could become contaminated. Not a chance. My supplier, Marco, always has clean water. So, uh, maybe it's revenge. For what? Everyone loves me. Never had an enemy in my life. Wait a second. Wait. Shit. Except maybe Marco. That bastard. Come to think of it, he's got an axe to grind for me. It was a long time ago. Never mind. Listen. He lives above an old shop on the west end of Villador, on Houndfield Lane. I traded him a few kilos of my finest flour for the water. Prove he poisoned it, and half my flour is yours. Can you do that for me? I guess I could check it out. And there's one more thing. I'm a little embarrassed. Hans might also have a bottle of this water. I thought you weren't selling it. I'm not, except, well, to Hans and... Can you go warn him? He's also on Hanfield, a few buildings down. Something's fishy about this, Julian. Look, you better be telling the truth, otherwise it'll be hard to help you. even happened. That's about the only time I smile. Then I see the goddamn UV lights. Yeah. <sighs> 
I wish I had some tomatoes, or garlic, or even a carrot. The teacher's volunteer. No, I cannot take you there. What's going on here? Hello, I'm Henkel. This student here was curious about my lesson today, about when the guns were confiscated in Villador. And what happened afterwards? He wants to light a candle on the site of the March Massacre. Why can't he? No one can leave the building while school is in session. Children shouldn't walk around the bazaar on their own. Hmm. I thought you'd be more worried about them falling into a dark zone. Oh, kids nowadays are too smart to fall into a silly hole. Anyway... Could you light a candle for him, young man? You might learn something yourself. Sure, though I was pretty lousy at history. History is boring when someone tells you about it. It starts being fascinating when you can touch it. Touch it? Yes, take this candle and go to the monument of the World Art Congress. Or what's left of it. It's close by. Contact me when you get there. You'll see what my lesson was about today. Sometimes I can't sleep because of sleep.
One day, he says, this city's full of suckers hoping for a miracle. We can take advantage of that. Anders had a plan. What plan? Lots of folk went missing after the war. I mean, look around. You can see memorials in every other street corner. Families needed to know what happened. And where there's a need, there's a business opportunity. That's sick. Have you no decency? No, oh, decency's dead, mate. It's eat or be eaten. Widows were the easiest looks. Pick a house with a yellow I feel carnage all stays open, only because the PK allow it. Yes, hamburgers.
in it. Hey, Hankel. I'm at the monument. You were right. Not much left of it. Good. Look closely. There is much more to it than meets the eye. <laughs> here that is where the riots started people were terrified how could they protect themselves and their families there was massive unrest so a curfew was put in place and homes were raided to ensure no one was hiding any weapons punishment for those who didn't comply was quite severe There's a plaque here. Oof, a lot of names on it. Are those the victims of a massacre? Yes, 64 names. Things were starting to get pretty bad outside the walls around then. And the army needed more weapons. So they confiscated the civilians' weapons. Private ownership of any sort of firearm and its ammunition was forbidden thereafter. Shots were fired. The army started shooting at people. Panic broke out. And of course, things only got worse. The riots escalated. It was the beginning of the end. 
light the candle. So you're saying that Pratt made a bad call, taking people's guns away? Hard to know for sure, but it didn't end well for anyone. In fact, the main irony <laughs> is that the army soon ran out of ammunition. And just like that, firearms became obsolete. At least, that's what's generally believed to have happened. Now, you'll hear some folks claim that Pratt kept a secret stash of ammunition somewhere in the city. But if so, he took that secret to the grave. So I guess we'll never really know. And that's the thing about history. We rarely ever really know. It's not a hard science. History is fragile as the passing of time. It takes the vigilance of people like myself to make sure it's not rewritten to suit the whim of each new generation's self-righteous fight. The duty of remembrance. Everyone should practice it. Farewell now, Pilgrim. I hope this little trip down memory lane has illuminated your path.
Yeah. <laughs> 
That'll do you good. Come back and I'll top you off real good. Ugh! <laughs> 
First tournament in three years. We'll attract the toughest Let's fighters in the city. What's strikes your fancy, my boy? Go tell all your friends. I gave you money to buy water, and what did you do? Cardinals get some gold. I'm trying to find some scammers. <laughs> Can you hear yourself at all? Hey, give me a break. It's not a big deal. Sean, did you spend the night outside? You with the bandits?
It's gone again.
Got it! Ugh, this looks more like Squirrel than Mink. Well, I'd better get to the bazaar and give this to Lola.
What'll it be? Check back with me. Take my life. Take this.
Hans? Hans, you there? Hans? Water. <coughs> oh, that moron must have taken the wrong bottle again. Forget his own head if it weren't stuck on his shoulders. Hey, what did you mean by the wrong bottle? He always takes a little rocket fuel with him when he goes hunting. But the booze is right here. That means he's got water. Where is he? And what business is that of yours? The water he got from Julian. It might be contaminated. He's hunting at this... Uh, the military tower, a, a few hundred meters west of here. Unless he's at the courts. I'll go to the tower. You check the courts, fast. Wait, wait. Take the booze with you, in case he's already drunk some of the water. I bet what's in this bottle will kill whatever's in that one. Hans? Hans? Oh, you old fool. Hans? Hans? Are, are you Hans? What do you want? Did you drink any of that water? Goddamn right I did. Tasted like piss. Ah, shit. That may have been poison, Hans. One sip? Then I spat the shit right out. Must have mixed up the bottles again. Whatever. Wait, whatever? Are you usually this calm about being poisoned? Who gives a shit? Not my wife, I bet. Don't think she loves me anymore. It's your booze. Take it. Your wife said chug. Drink it already! Bullshit. What? <laughs> my wife said that? My Anna? She thinks the alcohol's strong enough to burn the poison out of your system. Ha! Huh. My woman. <laughs> so she loves me after all, despite her bitching and moaning. And they say romance is dead. Here, for making my day. And maybe saving my life. <sighs> Look, you need any help getting back? Nah, I'm good. 
Me and this bottle of booze still got some work to do. Great. Another water thief. Just what I need. Between thieves and infected, I'll be out of business soon. Wait, what are you talking about? You came to rob me, didn't you? I'm here because a guy named Julian claims you sold him poisoned water. I didn't poison anything. All right? Uh, Julian claims otherwise. Sure. Listen to the guy who sold me flour mixed with plaster. If you're not the thief, how are you with infected? I need to get rid of those things that are down there. If not, I'm done here. Poison water or not. Okay, I'll get rid of the infected, and you tell me what happened. Deal? Sure. Deal.
Kid. All right, okay, you're safe. Now, what's the story with the water? Wait. So you really are one of those fucked up pilgrims. Wait, fucked up? Now we're safe. Gotta be a fucking criminal. Or pretty damn fucked up to drag your ass hundreds of miles through a world full of virals. Fucked up in a good way, of course. So, what about the water? There ain't nothing wrong with my water. A man at the bazaar was poisoned. And you'll be blamed if he dies. <sighs> damn it. Okay. It was an accident. Okay? Yeah, an accident. It's because of these goddamn thieves. Thieves. They're always stealing my water. I can't take it anymore. So I decided to set the trap. Do you deliberately poison the water to kill the bandits? Uh, not quite. At least uh, I didn't mean to. A, a while ago, I killed this viral that came crawling in here. And the fucker fell straight into a tub. The whole tub fucking ruined. But then I got this idea. Why don't I teach these bastards a lesson? So I filled some bottles with the zombie water, sent them out where they'd be easy to see. They were never supposed to make it into the bazaar. Guess I was sauced up and accidentally sold a few bottles to Julian. Look, I'll give you all the flour I got. I'll even throw something extra. Just don't tell anybody. I'd be ruined. They'll blame Julian and he'll hang. Don't you worry about Julian. A weasel like him will find a way to weasel out of it. And if not, then that's one weasel less in the world. So, we got a deal? Just be honest and tell your story to the bazaar. It was an accident. You nuts! No one would buy even a drop of water from me ever again. I won't let Julian hang for something he didn't do. Fuck Julian. I got my own skin to save. So that's a story you ain't going to tell.
greatest con artist alive. One day, he says, this city's full of suckers hoping for a miracle. We can take advantage of that. Anders had a plan. What plan? Lots of folk went missing after the war. I mean, look around. You can see memorials in every other street corner.
How should I know they were scammers? You couldn't read the journal more than you did. Give me a break. Oh, come on. I'm not an opera fan, but I... What's going on? Bevan's husband is dead. Julian's been accused of murdering him by poisoning his water. Aiden, please, tell them it wasn't me. Julian is innocent. A viral fell into his supplier's storage tub. The guy drunkenly sold Julian contaminated water. It wasn't a murder. You'd swear to that before the Bazaar Council? Yeah. Where's that supplier? He's going to stand trial in- Marco is dead. I, I killed him. And my job here is done. It's okay. I forgive you. That scum Marco got what he deserved. Thank you, Aiden. Half of my flower is yours. Yeah, the flower mixed with plaster? Huh? Uh, no. Where'd you hear that? Oh, yeah, so once, but, yeah, you know, it... Now keep the plaster. Just pay me and we'll be even. All right. I'll tell Bibbin what happened. Old Hank was mugged for a bottle of water yesterday. Things are getting out of control. Oh, well, here you go. My precious mink! Oh, you are truly sent from above. Lola is complete once more. You deserve a reward. Do you wish Lola to reward you with a song? Sure, why not? I sleep and I dream of your love. You was sent from above like a soft turtle dove I wake to the touch of your lips your hands on my hips my heart does back flips <clears throat> Are you not hypnotized? Are you not enthralled by Lola's voice? I am. That was... otherworldly. Such a compliment! You were such a dear boy. And a terrible liar. But Lola appreciates your kindness. You deserve a more proper reward than a song anyway. Take this, with Lola's deepest gratitude. <laughs> Thanks. Yeah. <laughs> 
That'll help. Let's do this again. An ear of wind. Probably not. Well, maybe we could talk to someone about this. Crash by the windmill now. What for? After all, it's not like anyone will give up electricity. Fucking ear. Remember what you told me. I can't believe you fixed the windmill. No, I don't. No one's managed to reach the top. 
thought you'd remember. You really need to focus. I wish someone would deal with the assholes that hijacked our water. Hakon. Hey, you're a better climber than one crazy girl I used to know. <laughs> she was something. She even wanted to climb the tallest building in the city. The VNC Tower. <laughs> was she one of your wives? Almost. Too hot-tempered. Even for my tastes. And what about this passage to the center? Right. Look, from this roof you can clearly see the Peacekeeper's base. So the PK run the city? They sure think they do. That's what they need the uniforms and ranks for. They tattoo them. They're fucking obsessed with hierarchy. <laughs> but they don't control the city. At least not all of it. Who controls the rest? The Colonel. The Renegades. Oh, you won't meet them here. For now. Wait, you brought me here to take a look at the Peacekeepers? The PK are your ticket to the center. I told you the only way to get there is through the metro tunnels. I'll go inside and draw their attention away from the platform. Then you enter the metro technical station. There's an airlock there. We'll take it together to the central loop. We can't just ask them to let me through? No chance. Right now, each new face they see belongs to a suspect in their commander's murder. They know me. I trade with them sometimes. I deliver lamps from the girls, or goods from dark zones. There might be a few infected there. Nothing a pilgrim can't handle, though. When you get to the main station, let me know. Now you better get some sleep. You'll head out at night, when there's less infected in the tunnels.
I'm in the tunnel. Okay. Now watch out for the infected. There might be a few, or a few dozen. I'm already in the PK base. I'll throw a UV flare through the vent, and you'll see how to get to the main station.
Hack on. I got to the flare. Look around. The technical tunnel to the main station should be well lit. I've already lured the guards upstairs. I'll chat them up while you get inside. Inside. Five packs. Think about it, and I'll be right back. I'm on the platform. Open the airlock. I'll be there in a second. come from? He was wandering through the tunnels. Fucking bizarre riffraff. More like a renegade spy. Hmm. Doesn't look like a renegade. <clears throat> He's awake. What were you doing at our base? I'm only trying to get to the city center. The center? 
The tunnel's gonna be closed until you hand over Lucas's killers. Bizarre scum. How is it that you lot saw nothing, heard nothing, and you managed to forget about the ban on passage? Maybe we'll start punishing you by cutting off your hands. That would improve your memory, huh? What were you doing four days ago? I'm a pilgrim. Four days ago, I was a hundred kilometers away. Enough, Anderson. We need the truth, and you won't get it through coercion. But Commander Lucas, Lucas always said... Lucas is said... dead, and now I'm in command. You've read the reports. A pilgrim appeared in the bazaar yesterday. It looks like he's not lying. Leave us, Sergeant. I want to talk to him alone. <clears throat> Where did you come from? From Crossdale River. That's over 1,500 kilometers from here. It's actually more than 2,000. The freeway bridge has collapsed. There are no straight paths. And you've managed to make it so far away. Impressive. What's it like out there these days? When was the last time you were out of the city? About 15 years ago. And then there were that many fewer survivors. And that many more infected. Stands to reason. Most people endure living in this hellhole because what's out there has got to be so much worse. My wife and I lived in England. I had two sisters, two brothers. I haven't heard from them for 10 years. And where did they live? In and around London. From what I've been told, London doesn't exist. There may be four settlements left on the entire island. Fucking hell. Why would anyone think I killed your commander? You tried to escape to the central loop four days after the murder. And besides, if I were Carl, I'd hire a stranger to kill Lucas too. It's the cleanest way. Well, I don't know who Carl is. Oh, you'll find out soon enough. Carl keeps both hands on the steering wheel. He's a faux sanctimonious prick who's turning the entire bazaar against us, even though we protect them. What's it like outside the walls? You never know where danger's gonna come from. Always new territories, new threats. And you came here to take shelter? I came here because I'm looking for someone. And a lot of people are said to have survived in Villador. You're looking for someone? Hmm, maybe I can help you, but not for free. I'm used to trading. What do you need? No nonsense. That's good. The tunnel will be closed until I find our commander's murderer, Commander Lucas. His body was found in the bazaar, horribly mutilated. The people of the bazaar aren't making this easy. They're proud and loyal. They refuse to turn anyone in. But command has lost its patience. I have orders from the top, Pilgrim. If the inhabitants of Old Vilador continue to revolt, our army will come here and burn the bazaar to the ground. Now, I'd rather avoid that. What do you need from me? Lucas had a weapon. A rare set of brass knuckles called the Lazarus. This is the key to finding the killer. If you learn anything about the Lazarus, tell me, and I will most certainly return the favor. It's worth a lot, and we didn't find it on his body. I think someone from the bazaar may have appropriated it. So if I find that weapon, you'll let me through to the center? It's not that easy. Vilador suffered much. First, it was isolated from the outside world because of infection. Then the walls became its salvation. But people here learned not to trust easily. I won't open the passage until I've caught the killer. But if you can find the Lazarus, I'll remember that. You'll be the first one through, once justice is done. Sounds as if I have no other choice. I'll try. 
Look around. Ask people. And don't come back empty-handed. Good luck. Questioned. Good. You must help us. It is kill you. Otherwise, there will Meet be me outside. Help. help us in the investigation. We'll help you with the bandits. I told you already. Nobody in the battalion Lucas is dead. Stop spinning your wheels and talk to me. So, what did they want from you? you been there like you said you'd be? I'm... Oh, oh, I did my best. I didn't know there was anyone else in the tunnel. Lucas's death is a big deal. They love this motherfucker like a father. Aitor doesn't have Lucas's charisma. He's gonna have problems. Aitor said he might let me through to the center, if I help him. What? What are you supposed to help him with? He wants me to find Lucas's weapon, the Lazarus. Went missing from the crime scene. He believes finding it will help find the killer. The Lazarus, huh? Fancy set of brass knuckles, right? I know a guy who trades stolen goods and other shit he gets from thieves. A fence? Part-time fence, full-time scammer. An artless one, too. He's got half the city after him for debt right now. If anyone in Philidor is fool enough to buy a peacekeeper weapon, it would be him. And what's his name? Hubert Carbatos. Also known as Half-Ass Hubie. Every day, he sets up shop in the nearby windmill and waits for customers. Probably selling booze and weed to the PKs. If you want to find the Lazarus, talk with Hubie. I'll chase down some other leads. Okay, let's keep in touch.
Hubert? Nah, not me. I'm waiting for Hubie too. So get in line. Got it. You know when I'll be here? Maybe in an hour. Maybe two. You never know with old half assed That said, he's got the best moonshine. So, worth the wait. Eh, nothing to do but wait, I guess. Hey, you Hubert? Who's asking? A customer. I want to buy something. Hey, you're that stranger they wanted to hang, aren't you? Hey, Hubie, you got a special customer. It's that pilgrim from the bazaar. W wait, I just want to buy something. So, that was Hubie, wasn't it? Yep. Apparently he had an urgent appointment with another customer. Yeah, sure. Hakon, he's running away. Nah, sounds like you be. Oh, wait a sec. I see him. Arsenal's running to the northeast. I just want to talk! Don't hurt me! I don't know anything! About what? I haven't asked you anything yet. I don't know anything about anything, I swear! I'm told that you're a fence, hmm? A fence? No way! A reseller, maybe, but... I'm looking for the Lazarus. Yeah, I used to belong to Lucas, the late PK commander. And don't try to tell me you don't know who Lucas is. Well, then I won't. Know anything about the Lazarus? Are you kidding me? Even if I'd been offered those brass knuckles, I would have refused. I'm not an idiot. That weapon is way too hot. Why did you run away from me? Because every five minutes someone's coming after me, man. Okay, I may have given people a reason to be mad, but I'll make things right. Soon. Eventually. Maybe. How did you know the Lazarus is a set of brass knuckles, hmm? I didn't say that. Come on. Everyone knew about Lucas's little love glove. He was always showing it off. If anyone thought I had him, they might also think I killed Lucas, which is bullshit. Yeah, but someone tried to sell it to you, right? I told you, I... Okay, fine. Maybe someone did, but I can't say who. Client confidentiality. Stop fucking around. Tell me or I... Her name is Maya. I met her in the tenement building at Meatpacking Square, near the old butcher shop. But I don't know anything else. Leave me alone. It overlooks some army barracks or some shit. All right, I can find that. Hey, hack on. Hubert said someone tried to sell him the Lazarus. Do you know a Maya? 
No. Strange, because I thought I knew all the women here. I'm headed to Meatpacking Square. Meatpacking Square. It's a fucked up place. There are some barracks there the army set up in 23 when shit went south. She's supposed to be in one of the buildings that overlook them. Okay. Stay in touch, bro.
don't think they already notice. But when the commander is killed, they turn the place upside down. Hole indeed. Hey kids, um, I'm looking for a woman named Maya. <laughs> it was so funny. Maya ain't a grown up. She's just a plain old girl. Hold on. You were the one trying to sell a PK weapon to Hubert? Yeah, but the jerk didn't want it. Got all freaked out and chased me away. How did you get a hold of a peacekeeper weapon? We all found it. Was wandering around with these punks and ran across a corpse. Happens a lot. He was totally dead. We searched him, and I took the brass who's a Watsits because I figured someone would pay a pretty penny for him. Maya, I need that weapon. It's very important. You expect me to just hand that brass who's a Watsit over? Are you nuts? The Hoosie Whatsit's real name is the Lazarus, and it belonged to an important PK. We might have a war if I don't return it. You could help us find a murderer. Okay, I'll give you this stupid thing, but for 500. That's a lot of money, kid. Of course it is. Life's damn expensive. I have to buy water and a marker for my brother. He's turning 12 soon, you know. I can give you 10, and that's my last offer. Deal! Nobody wanted to buy it anyway. Hey, Hakon. I have the Lazarus. Get your ass to Eto with it. 
It'll make the perfect birthday present for him. Though I have no idea when that prick was born. I'll be near Metro Station. Okay.
one rule here. The more you do, the more work they give you. Who's on or off? Get well, moving. You'd rather... Oh, the Pilgrim has returned. I hope not empty-handed. I found the Lazarus. I'll be damned. I was right that you could open doors we couldn't. Where's the fucker who had him? In Meatpacking Square. You didn't let him go, did you? That could have been the murderer. Uh, a girl had him. She's ten or something. She didn't kill him. Just looted the corpse. Stop. We'll get back to this later. Leave us. Ah, it looks like a constellation on your arm. Those are rank tattoos. When we ran low on resources, tattoos eventually replaced medals. They show our hierarchy. Like in prison? Prison or military, it's all the same. There's always a pecking order. I did what you wanted. It's your turn. Get me to the center. Opening the tunnel to the central loop is beyond my pay grade, Pilgrim. Command wants me to find the killer. Ader, you promised! Cool down, Pilgrim. I keep my promises. First, take this. Token of gratitude. Ader, I have to get to the center. Get it? You're looking for someone, right? I want to go to the central loop, too. My wife and kids are there. And I can't protect them when I'm stuck here. The tunnel will open when I find the killer. Is that clear? You can help me, or you can wait until I find him myself. I see traces of blood on the Lazarus's blades. Lucas managed to wound his killer before he died. Oh, bastard's got to have a nasty gash. If you find him, you'll not only help me, you'll be helping yourself. <sighs> okay. Do you have any suspects? The commander was murdered in the bazaar. There had to be someone from there. The people of the bazaar are simple folk. Why would they risk defying you? And that's why I want to discover the truth before the orders come down to use force. Besides, appearances can be deceiving. They want to get rid of us. They think anarchy is the key to building a new world. Well, there is plenty of anarchy these days. Carl is a faux pious hustler who brainwashes others with slick speeches. He says everyone's equal, but it's bullshit. You can't be a leader and an equal at the same time. I'll try to find Lucas's killer. Splendid. That's your ticket to the center. Head back to the bazaar. Is there anything else I should know before I go? Yes, as a matter of fact. But this is totally hush-hush. Word of this cannot get out. Sounds serious. Whoever killed Lucas took a little trophy, carved his tattoo right out of his bloody arm. They cut into his corpse? That is seriously fucked up. Yeah, seriously. The men found out Lucas was desecrated like that, they'd lose their shit. And it would be total war. I'm telling you this, because if you find that little trophy, then you found the sick fuck who killed Lucas. Got it. I'll head out right now. And the death of two million people. People. Howdy, citizen. Welcome to Old Villador's PK Command Center. Aiden, still alive? Worried about me, are you? Of course. I have high hopes for you, Aiden. Meet me outside. It's high time Command deals with the water issue. We need to take the water tower back.
I don't believe the commander was killed by anyone from the bazaar. Fuck no. Lucas was a real hard ass. The Butch is our greatest people. enemy. Like He's responsible for the Probably Black Monday bombings own. and the death of two million people. Peter wants me to find Lucas's murderer. Only then will he help me get to the center. Not doing his dirty work. Well, that's no surprise. He told me to start with the bazaar. Oh, figures. PK and the bazaar really hate each other. Only two people matter at the bazaar. One is that overblown preacher, Carl. I know that. Who else is there? Sophie, his right hand. She has a way with the bazaar's more rebellious souls. Helps him keep control. There's also Dodger, a local gangster. He knows what's going on, and about the bandits led by Joe. But they're afraid of the PK. Okay, I'll talk to Sophie and you look into Carl, unless... you prefer the girl. Sophie? Uh, she's not really my type, you know? And headstrong. She's... you'll see. The essence of survival? What are you talking about? Want to find out? Just close your eyes. What do you perceive? Well, um, I hear noises. Yeah. What else? Well, oh, something stinks. Exactly. The smell. Impulses going straight from the senses to the limbic system, triggering an emotional response. Memories. The well-being of the mind. But, uh, well, that smells like... Well, that smells like shit. What did you expect? What do you think people use as fertilizers around here? Too much information. Sorry. So, who are you and what are you doing here? Before the fall, I used to work in a fragrance manufacturing company. I consider myself lucky to have been professionally active within the only century when the world actually smelled nice. Now it's back to normal. So I asked myself, how can I change that? What scent would make people the most happy in this miserable world? 
I sure hope you don't mean smelling like shit is the essence of survival. Of course not. I have this really exciting idea for a new fragrance. People are gonna pay a fortune for just a whiff. I called it Turn Me On. And it's almost finished. I just need some scraps for the heart note. A uh, heart note? Hmm. The middle note of the perfume. Metal scraps and lavender. That's all I'm missing. Oh, of course. Metal scraps and lavender. The obvious blend. Naira goes out of her way to be... Uh, controversial. If you bring me some, I'll tell you everything about my secret formula. Naira said she needs lavender for her perfume, too. Hm. Now that makes more sense. Here, your, uh, ingredients. Mmm, good. I wish there was more oil on the metal scraps, but... Oh, Naira, can't you just be thankful for what you've got for once? She gives me this shit every day, I swear. Okay. Okay. Voila! It's ready. Here, smell it. <sighs> wow. It smells... It's... Oh, boy, it's like heaven. What is it? Silly little boy. Too young to know, aren't you? It's new car smell. A... A car? Are you disappointed? The scent of luxury is the bass note, the smell of confidence is the heart note, and the fragrance of risk and adventure is the head note. All you dream about is to turn it on and drive away into the distance. Thanks so much for helping me out. Unlike some people. Here, have this. I rubbed it with Turn Me On. This'll remind you to tune into your sense of smell now and then. Metal scraps. Naira wants them. Oh, I hope this isn't some wild goose chase. Making perfume out of metal? <laughs> Sounds absurd. Carnage Hall, Carnage! The first tournament in three years. They'll attract the toughest fighters. Oh, Carnage. 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 Apparently, you can't go to the either. Hey, who the fuck are you? Easy, Chief. He ain't PK. How do you know? They're creeping around here all the time. He's that outsider, the pilgrim. What? He's from outside the walls. Well, fuck me. I don't know what brings you here, but watch your back, pilgrim. And stay away from the PKs. They ain't no one's friends. This time with a biomarker. Carl said if you show up to bring you round so he can introduce himself. What a nice change from wanting to hang me. And remember, humanity created a civilization that turned out to be a colossus on clay legs. We cannot make the same mistakes. He didn't want to, he had to. You were a threat to everyone. Of course. Do not listen to the ideologies preached by fools calling for reconstruction. There will be no rebuilding. Who would have thought? A pilgrim in the bazaar. Welcome. Yeah, I'm still alive, despite your best efforts. 
clear to me you're holding a grudge. But if you were in my shoes, you would understand. We are responsible for the safety of our community. And we treat this seriously. That's why we did what we did. I hope you can forgive us. So, pray tell. What's it like in the outside world these days? Bad and getting worse. Settlements are shrinking in size and number. I'm afraid soon there will be nowhere else to go. Doesn't surprise me, son. Humanity must reach the bottom in order to rise again. And this is why we are here. Any more news? Not really. But uh, why don't you tell me more about your people? We are called the people of the bazaar, simply because of where we live. But who we are truly are free people. Free from lies, free from money, free from religion, wars, politics, and the dark cloud that has blanketed the earth. That sounds great. Too good to be true, in fact. Oh, we have our challenges. Water is scarce, for example. But with courage and patience, we will someday create a paradise. Well, you seem almost thankful for the collapse of civilization. It was as tragic as it was inevitable. Consumerism, belief in the almighty dollar led to this catastrophe. So, we here strive not to make the same mistake twice. It would be a crime. We want to create a new order based on social bonds, on family and community. A society where people support each other and adhere to justice. No need for the police, military, or false authorities to shoot those they are meant to protect. We have a place for everyone. But let's get back to your stories. Is gossip all you want from me, Carl? No. But you came from outside, and you're walking around my flock. So, to set things straight, I need to know if you're a sheep or a wolf. What are you, then? A wolf. You better watch out. I'm relieved, then. A true wolf doesn't have to announce he's a wolf. You know what? I think it's time I said things straight, too. I'm looking for Sophie. Are you? And why, pray tell? Got a package for her. No, you don't. Excuse me? Sophie knows no one outside of Villador. She was born and raised here. That's probably why she cares about this place so much. She's of great help to me. So, unless it's a package from across the street, I'll have to call your bluff. Who says I'm bluffing? I do. I could tell a mile away. But all right. I'll tell you where she is. And you know why? Why? Because whatever it is you want, even if your intentions are hostile, she'll handle you. We will handle you. Just as we handled you before, Pilgrim. Go that way. You'll see a giant of a man. That's Herman, Sophie's bodyguard. She won't be far. Thanks. Wasn't that hard, was it? Don't lie to me again, Pilgrim. After all, I'm not lying to you, am I? Just want you to return the courtesy. The tournament, the tournament. It's all folks talk about these days. <sighs> Sophie, can we talk? Don't hurt him, Herman. Let him talk. My name's Aiden. You're that pilgrim that came to town recently. You're sure well informed. Don't have much of a choice. I'm in charge of safety here. Besides, yesterday you made quite an entrance. I'm looking for a job. Would you happen to know of any? Hmm. People here say you can be useful. I'd rather see for myself. How about a small errand first? Uh, what are you proposing? Go to one of the craftmasters. Alberto or Vincenzo. Both know the location of the purest crystals. I need some for a certain transaction. A certain transaction? Anything I need to know about? Curiosity is the first step on the road to hell, Carl says. <laughs> Do you believe that? I believe in not trusting strangers, 
And that's who you are. So far, at least. Bring me the location of the crystals first. We'll see where we go from there. Those crystals. What's the deal with them? They were created by the chemical bombings of the city. A byproduct of some sort. People believe the infection spreads slower if you wear them. Honestly, I don't think it does. But there's no harm in trying. And that's why they're so important to you guys? That and many other reasons. They're hard to get, difficult to destroy, and easy to get obsessed with. Because they're so pretty, right? But most importantly, they real, tangible things. Way more real than a piece of paper and old money. That's why they're so bloody expensive. You said you were in charge of safety at the bazaar. What does that mean exactly? It means any PK who threatens our community of free people can count on me breaking his skull. Oh, from the way Carl talked, you sounded more like pacifists. We're trying to overturn the old ways and usher in a new era for humanity. It's a true revolution. And every revolution needs two things to succeed. Ideology and an armed faction to enforce it. Alberto and Vincenzo? Tell me more about him. A father and son duo. Alberto, the father, tends to yammer on. Before zero hour, he had a workshop on piles of cash. Vincenzo, his son, kind of shy. They're both craftsmen, clever too. The kind that can make a watch out of old gum and a piece of string. Fine, I'll go talk to one of those craft masters. They should be at the bazaar. Do well, and we can think about giving you bigger jobs. I'm Damien. Aiden. You're new here, right? Does it make a difference? I pride myself on knowing everyone in this dump, but I don't know you. Maybe that's because I just got into the city. For reals? Wow. Respect. I heard that outside the walls, it's a bloodbath. What does this have to do with the job? Nothing, my friend. Just sussing you out. And I like what I've sussed so far. But about the job, first and foremost, it'll require a certain amount of discretion on your part. You'll be doing business for my partners, and it's their business only. No one else's. Head on over to meet them in West Quarry End. They'll fill you in on the details. Understood. I'll go report to them. <laughs> Don't keep them waiting. Don't look at me like that. I'm just giving you information. Like a pilgrim, apparently. You look anxious. Look, Urban, your nosy friend's back. Found a job? No luck yet. It's not about luck, kid, but about character. <laughs> like yours? Hmm. Ballsy. Okay, then. What does your hungry soul crave? Someone like you must know a lot. Out of modesty, I won't deny it. And maybe a little bird told you what might have happened to Lucas? <laughs> you know, I heard a pilgrim has come to the city. Very nosy. Grills people about stuff. Gets in the way. Sounds a lot like you. It can't be a coincidence. Sure it can. I don't believe in them. Now, you know anything about Lucas or not? No, oh, that kind of information is expensive. You can't afford it. I could work for it. You got any work I could do? Leave your CV with my secretary and we'll get back to you. Come on, don't fuck with me. I'm serious. You barge in here like you own the place. Takes coconut-sized balls. <sighs> That's my kind of man. Or should I say, pilgrim. Okay. I might have a small errand for a tough guy like you. Take care of it, and we'll see whether you're worth knowing. What do you need? Minor thing. Need you to check in on a guy who's late delivering my order. Been incommunicado for a few days now. Might be trying to avoid me. 
He usually doesn't keep me waiting. No one does. Who's the guy? Hubert. Half-assed Hubie, we call him. Met him. Lives up to his nickname. Need you to find out what's up with him this time. Okay. I'll come back after I've spoken to him. He lives in the tallest building on the edge of Trinity Court, opposite the bazaar on Horseshoe. You can't miss it. But getting to him is another story. But why? Hubert's not just a fence. He makes money where he can. And now he's hiding from half the city. He's super paranoid. Lives like a rat in a maze to keep himself safe. You'll need to climb up and find one of his secret passages to get in. I can handle it. When you're there, give him the password Sayonara, so he knows I sent you. Got it. I keep telling everyone we should be getting ready for winter. Back in the day, I had a huge, a, a massive... The only thing about this night run thing? Well, and... Uh, my own heart. <laughs> Sophie sent me. She says you know where they can find some crystals? Oh, for fox! They've already sent one of their... F f f f f fuckwits? Who? That fellow! <laughs> Sophie's brother! Huh? What was the asshole's name? Barney. The asshole's name is Barney. And he asked the same question about a dark zone with crystals. Oh, that's news to me. So where is that dark zone? It's a hundred... Uh, 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 a hundred and twenty... Uh, a hundred and... <laughs> Dad, can I tell him? Oh, please. A hundred meters from the metro. There's a big sign. Fashion store. And a windmill on the other side of the street. Uh, thanks. Well, well, what did you find? I know the location, but I was told your brother asked about it already. Herman, see if Barney turned on his radio. Barney, answer me. Barney! So that's why he's gone offline. 
He's looking for the crystals on his own. And throwing a wrench in the works yet again. This isn't the first time, I gather. No. He's always trying to prove himself. Last time, he got wounded. Wasn't that long ago, either. A fucking kid. I'll kill him. I'll just kill him. Why blame yourself? We all make our own beds. Listen. You said it yourself. You're new here. So you don't know much. I'm responsible for security here. And he's my brother. I promised I'd look after him. You promised? Promised who? Never mind. I'll kick Barney's ass when he gets back. How'd Barney get wounded? He didn't want to tell me. My guess is that the PK's got a hold of him. Your brother keeps secrets from you? That's none of your business. Barney, answer me! Damn it all to hell! If he went to a dark zone in his condition, he's a goner. I can try to track him down. <sighs> you? I've been in the dark zone before, in the GRE hospital. St. Joseph Hospital? Really? If you save him, you won't regret it. We still have some time. Barney will likely wait till dusk. Going into a dark zone during the day is suicide. Just bring him back home safe. I'll do my best. Good luck. It's Aiden. I've just been offered an extremely shady deal. Maybe it'll turn up a lead on Lucas. I need more than just leads, Aiden. Whatever it is, check it out. Will do. Over and out.
too bad! Man, did you save my bacon? Thanks. Take this. Bombings almost killed everyone in this city. Swear to God. <sighs> first thing I think. Sophie, I'm inside. It's not Santa Barney yet. You have to find him. He has to be in there somewhere. I'm looking. Sophie, Tayden, I found a radio, and a body, male, white, bald man. I'm sorry, Sophie. That's not Barney. That's Kodak, one of ours. Barney can't be far. Sophie, I found blood. It's fresh. Hurry, Aiden. Now what am I supposed to do? Barney? Are you? Who the fuck are you? Sophie sent me. 
Yeah, right. And I'm a PK general. Whoever you are, fuck off! These are our crystals. You get it? You won't. <laughs> Barney, open up. Fuck off. Sophie, I found Barney, but he's locked himself in a room. He's alive. Good. A stubborn fucker. Just try and talk to him. I'll try. Barney! Go back to where you came from! Come out, or I'll drag you out myself. Oh, yeah? I'd like to see you try, dipshit! You think you're the first person to threaten me? Don't you know who I am? Barney, I'll count to three. One, two, three. Go the fuck away! You ain't getting a thing from me! Fuck! Shit! Great. for some air. Your sister mentioned you're stubborn. She didn't say you were an idiot. Hey, I should beat you down for that. Here, take your radio. We're leaving. No, Bertie. We gotta find Bertie. Who? He lured away the infected when they were about to get me down there. If not for him, I'd have ended up like Kojak. You're in no condition to look for anyone. He's just a kid, man. I promised his old lady I'd bring him back, understand? He drew those bastards to himself, you get it? So I could grab the crystals for the bazaar. I have to find him. You're in no condition to search for anyone, Barney. I'm not going back without him. Where can I find him? He was on the ground floor when those assholes surrounded me. They ran out after him through the side door. Okay, you stay here and wait for my signal. I'll find your friend and then come back for you, got it? Hurry! Blood must be birdies. Trash should lead me to him. Hey, you find birdie? I wasn't going down without a fight.
Day. Who are you? A maiden. Can you move? Barney sent me. Barney? <coughs> of course. Good old Barney. <coughs> he made it out, right? He got the crystals? <coughs> yeah, he did. Well, thanks to you, kid. <coughs> I pulled it off. <coughs> Killed three infected. Did you see? Well, two were wounded already, but... <coughs> Listen. It's my birthday today. Uh, and can I ask a favor? You see, uh, over there, my radio. I have to call someone. Here, but we gotta hurry. Of course, of course. Uh, I just gotta, hello? Mom. <coughs> you there? Mom? It's all good, Mom. We're almost... Barney and me are just finishing up here. Barney! He promised me that he'd keep you safe! Don't freak out, Mom. Listen. We got him. The crystals. We got him. And I killed three. Three infected. I beat them, Mom. We really need to get going. Then get the hell out and get back here safe! Barney promised! Sure. Soon. We'll be back soon, Mom. Mason, what's going on? Nathan? Nathan! Barney. You there? Barney? Aiden. You there? Yeah, I'm just trying to reach your brother. Barney's here already. Just arrived. He... what? He was supposed to... I didn't trust you. He thought you wanted to take the crystals. But he sent me to check on his friend so he could sneak away? It's not like that. Come back to the bazaar. I'll explain everything. <laughs> <laughs> is going on in the central loop since PK's restricted access. Some say the renegades are about to attack. Things are better for us now, right? Depends, doesn't it? Veronica, the guy was a prick. The PK were a pain in the ass with him in charge. Conclusion's pretty straightforward. Lucas is gone. Things are better for us. Amen. It'd be better if you just shut up, Barney. Where's Sophie? You again. What are you doing? Spying on me? Well, you got something to hide? You were talking about the PK commander, weren't you? Look at Mr. Nosy here. Watch where you stick that nose, Pilgrim, or you'll lose it. That fuckwood Lucas deserved to die. That's the truth. Barney, the truth is this. You're an idiot, and the peacekeepers protect us. Protect? For what? Who took over our windmill? The peacekeepers. Who took over the metro? Fucking Lucas. So they should get the fuck out before they all end up like their motherfucking commander. You were supposed to wait for me. Suppose schmozed. Plans changed. Afraid I was after your crystals, huh? Afraid? 
Of you? Give me a break. We've got our own interests to look after, Pilgrim, and they're none of your business. Two of your men died for your interests. You used Birdie to distract me, that it? You don't know shit about me and my people, jackass. Birdie was like a brother to me. For some reason, my sister wants to see you, so go bother her. We have to kill them, Carl. They used to be family. We must negotiate. You don't negotiate with extortionists. You're nothing like your mother. Besides, I'm in charge here. Prepare your men. And we're giving Joe those goddamn crystals. Fucking coward. I know what you think. But we have to listen to him, Herman. As for the bazaar, only for the bazaar. Sophie. Relax, Herman. He saved Barney, remember? Uh, interesting guy, your little brother. You two didn't get along, I take it. Let's just say it wasn't love at first sight. Barney has his downsides. But on the upside, he is unshakably loyal. And with so many problems plaguing old Villador, I just need people I can trust. What are your problems? You're the curious sort, aren't you, Aiden? Just ask. What do you want to know? It seems after the commander was murdered, things got complicated between you and the peacekeepers. Oh, that's an understatement. To be more precise, our situation got fucked up. But Lucas, he deserved to die. Since the plague, nothing has hurt the locals like him. It was on his order that the peacekeepers seized our windmill to support themselves. They take a large part of our crops and water. In return for what? Protection? I can protect my people myself. I started learning that when I was a kid. Why did Barney bail on me? Crystals are valuable. We needed them for a transaction. And now, you'll be able to help. Like I did with Barney and Birdie? It didn't feel like much of a help. Barney was in shock when he heard about Birdie. That's why he bailed on you. He... He wants what's best for the bazaar, Aiden. He thinks he'll protect us all. He's really just a kid. He was just a teenager when our mother died. But even earlier, when he was little, we were always on our own. Now he's an adult and he doesn't need anyone. But he hurts himself the more he tries to help others. That spat with Carl. What was that about? Let's just say the PK commander's death only made our problems worse. Look around, Aiden. What do you see? Something people outside the walls could only dream of. All these people will be dead by the end of the month. Why? Because in short order, our water supplies will run dry. Two weeks ago, a local thug named Joe and his pal Jack took over the only water tower in the area with their gang. Not long ago, they lived in the bazaar. But Carl threw them out for pulling scams. And now they're taking their revenge. They mined the tower and they're threatening to blow it up if they don't get a weekly tribute in the form of medicines, food, and crystals. And all these people, don't they know anything? Not how low the water reserves have gotten. I was gonna handle it, but Carl was afraid of causing a panic. Instead, he went to the PK for help. Of course he came back empty-handed. They're only here to help themselves, certainly not us. They could care less that Joe took the tower and demanded protection money. My mother used to say, never bargain with extortionists, when she was still in charge here. Wait, so before Carl took power, you... She led the bazaar with an iron fist, and Carl listened to her. After her death, he became full of himself, and he got cocky. Well, didn't your mother want you to succeed her? I know what she wanted for her people. Community and freedom. That's what she always said. But don't ask me what she wanted for me. I don't know if I even existed for her at all. She was a great leader, but a shitty mom. What are you going to do? What I have to do. I promise to help Carl. 
So while he's in charge, we're going to pay off Jack and Joe. And they're going to keep squeezing more and more out of us. And so on and so on. The most important thing is for my people to be safe. You've proven that you can be trusted. I want to ask you for help. Carl believes Joe will live up to his side of the bargain and that he'll give us access to water. But I'm skeptical. I have to send people to negotiate with bandits and I don't want any surprises. Carl and our people have already set out for the spot where the deal will go down. Make sure everything goes smoothly. So I should guard them? Yes. From a discreet distance. at me like that. I'm just giving you information. And just between us, someone's been stealing our water. Nobody's doing anything about it. Such a shame. <sighs> Bandits. Oh, and a lot of bodies. Sophie, I'm sorry. I knew it. I knew those motherfuckers would betray us. Fuck them, Aiden. Kill them all. I gotta take a leak. survivors. Crystals. Susie? Sophie, I found Susie. She's dead. I can't believe it. First Birdie, now her. Damn. Damn. Damn! There's nothing you could have done. No. Except that I sent them there. Joe's men have kidnapped Carl. And I don't see these crystals. <laughs> Ugly motherfucker. He's slow. Just be careful. Search the other bodies, Aiden. Maybe the crystals are still there. Yeah. <laughs> 
Sophie, everything's been taken. Probably took her before you got there. Everything is gone. All right, enough of this playing defense. Let's meet by Jack and Joe's camp on the roof by the overpass. We're gonna go after Carl and our crystals. Jack and Joe will pay for this shit show. going? You alive, man? Fuck, I'm getting sentimental. I haven't said that to anyone since my third divorce. I appreciate it, but don't get your hopes up. Not the marrying kind. Learn anything about the commander's murder? I heard Sophie's brother mention something about Lucas's death. That's all so far. Now they have a bigger problem. The bandits you mentioned? They took Carl hostage. Yeah, exactly. I'm helping Sophie get him back. Good. Gain her trust. That might also help us find out what they know. Just watch out. They might be suspicious. But if you can do it, Aitor will let us into the center. <laughs> Hey, Herman. Where's Sophie? Hey, why weren't you on the mission? Friends could have used you. Okay. I guess that means I should wait here.
Arcadia. Oh, no. 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 Jack and fucking Joe will pay for what they did. I had a bad feeling about it from the start. I had a feeling Carl's plan sucked, and yet I let him lead. Why didn't you send Herman on the mission? It wouldn't have stood a chance against that beast. Him? He's strong, but as helpless as a child. That's one damn big child. You don't understand. Herman's almost deaf. He used to be my mother's bodyguard. He's been around us as long as I can remember, and after she died, he stayed close to us. One time, the lights in my shelter went out. The infected broke through a window. Herman blocked the path and tossed a grenade into a nearby infected. He survived the explosion, but lost his hearing. In a face-to-face -face battle, he's nearly unbeatable. But if he's caught from behind, he's as vulnerable as a child. A killer combination, especially for him. That's why I prefer to keep an eye on him. Sometimes I wonder if he's watching over me, or I'm watching over him. You think Jack and Joe could have had something to do with Lucas's murder? Joe, perhaps. He's a total psycho, and a thief. He knew the peacekeepers would hang him if they caught him. But Jack wouldn't let him. He's a coward. He thinks rationally. Don't beat yourself up. Things could have been worse, too. If I had listened to myself, we'd have water, and more of our people would still be alive. You were just doing your job. You were following Carl's lead. Yeah, but I won't let him lead the bazaar to its doom. I see. All right, so what's the plan now? From now on, I'm following my gut. Last time something like this happens on my watch. If you'd hurried back there, maybe some of our guys would have made it. I thought a pilgrim like you was supposed to run like a fucking gazelle. Barney, shut up! What? If he'd have made it in time to help, we'd be having a party. Not a wake. In case you change your mind. He can be a real pain in the ass. But we'll do something good for the city one day. To your help. I gather you were close with Bertie. He tried to be a poet, kept showing me his work and said all the other guys were too stupid to understand. I never told him how bad it was. He was a good kid. I took him into the group when he lost his father in a dark zone. He was 10 years old. That's pretty young. Too young. But he had no one else. So I took him in. If you manage to take out those bandits, it... Jack Cock and Joe Cunt. You think killing Messrs. Cock and Cunt will change something? Death usually changes a lot in a person's life. Carl was wrong. We should have gone after them right away. But right or wrong, we have to help him. He's one of us. We'll rescue him and retrieve the crystals from Jack and Joe. Besides, I won't let them get away with killing my people. Ralph, Susie, Logan, Birdie, they deserve revenge. And Jack and Joe sentenced them to death. So they'll die. Your radio. Yeah, it picks up static sometimes. Go see Alberto. He can fix stuff like that on the spot. Thanks. Hey, Tor here. Leave, but make sure no one sees you. You two make a pretty pair, Aiden. I'm on the roof nearby. We have to talk. Now. It's about saving your life. I'll tear them apart. I swear. I'll gut them. Real slow. <sighs>
What do you want? I don't like what's going on here, Aiden. First Jack and Joe's bandits killed Carl's people. And now Sophie's getting ready to retaliate. You're not a part of that, are you? But you said you wanted me to get close to them. I'm gonna search Sophie's camp. That's why I came to warn you. Rumors have started. You found the Lazarus for me. They may suspect you of being a PK spy. That doesn't seem like it. They seem happy to take whatever help is offered. So they say. But those people hate us, Aiden. Along with anyone who works with us. So if they do suspect, especially someone like Sophie... I can handle them. Lucas thought so too, and look how he ended up. Be a pity if I found you in a ditch somewhere, with a piece of your hide cut out. You came here just to warn me? You helped me with the Lazarus. And I take care of my allies. Sophie's just fighting for water, that's all. I don't think she suspects anything. <laughs> you think so? She hates the peacekeepers. She blames us for not helping the bazaar. And for her mother's death. So when we start questioning her people, you better be careful. Thanks for the warning. You gain any intel for our investigation? Sophie's also wondering who killed Lucas. What else would she say? They know if we can prove they killed Lucas, it'll be a bloodbath. Find out from Sophie when she's planning the attack. Keep me informed where you are. Be careful. Don't trust the people of the bazaar. They're more dangerous than they seem. Looks like Sophie's not here. I, I think I better we look must, for her. Must be. Dad, it's still early. Pilgrim. Hey, have you seen Sophie? Sophie? Uh, yes, she went. She said that. Uh, she went that way. Exactly. Thanks. Wait. There's more. One more thing. Something's wrong with uh, uh, not working with the. Uh, it's broken. That. Uh, oh. Dad's asking if there's something wrong with your radio. Oh, uh, it hisses sometimes, but as long as it works, no point messing with it. Um, can I ask you a question? Sure. Call me Aiden. Vincenzo. Uh, Aiden? How do you become a pilgrim? Does that mean you're a murderer? Vincenzo! Why... What do you... Why would you... Dad, I'm asking because I'm curious. Will you tell me, Aiden? I'm not that exciting. I've had to kill people, but I'm not a murderer. All being a pilgrim is to me now is a means to an end. To what end? Vincenzo, leave him alone. To find the only family I've ever known. Did you? Not yet, but I might be close. I hope you succeed. I've never found Federico. Who? Federico. He was my best friend. We were like brothers. We'd known each other forever. He disappeared like the other kids because of those fucking tests. Tests? You mean GRE tests? You heard that when they built the walls, they were trying to create a vaccine here? It all fell apart in a couple of weeks. One day, Federico vanished into thin air. We'd been playing football. I went to my house after that. He went home too. And I never saw him again. I'm sure they took him. And that's not all. You see, he wasn't the only child who went missing that winter. There were others? Two girls. 
disappeared from the building next door at the same time. And more, all across the city. And none of them have ever been found? No, but based on what Federico's mother said, I have a feeling I know what happened. Federico had been in the hospital a month earlier with pneumonia. His mother was told that some GRE doctor had ordered blood tests, but they wouldn't tell her why. A week after he was released from the hospital, he was gone. Do you remember this doctor's name? No one knew, and no one at the hospital would say. Only that he was on classified GRE business. Then, everything went to hell. The GRE collapsed. After that, some of the kids were sighted in the central loop. But not Federico. Every day, I wonder what happened to him. I hope he's alive. And that you find him someday. I'm here. How's your radio? Working now? Sometimes it works. Sometimes, no. Roll the dice. Susie, Logan, I swear I'll tear them apart and eat the pieces! Bertie! Ralph! To your help! I love you. What now? Do you remember the beginning of the fall, Aiden? <laughs> Vaguely. I remember it as if it were yesterday. We had been defending the church against infected for some time. My mother was in charge. She was losing dozens of people every day. She was keeping everyone alive while I was keeping an eye on Barney. She begged the peacekeepers for help. But they ignored her. Eventually, she was injured. It was dawn. And he led me to her, to the roof of the sacristy. She saw me and made me promise to look after my brother. <laughs> she said it as if she was lending me a car and asking me to have it returned intact. After that, she appointed Carl as her successor, with me at his side. You'll grow up to be a far better leader than Carl, she said. But while the world is burning, people won't listen to someone so young. She was wrong. I've been thinking like that all my life. But not anymore. Now I understand, my mother. You have to be ruthless to be a leader. I wasn't ready then. I am now. I think I know what you're talking about. And I know what loss is like. Talking about someone in particular? <laughs> about my sister. I'm sorry. Yeah, maybe you don't have to be. We'll find out. That's why you came to town. For her. Yeah. Sophie, we have to talk. Time to act. The quicker we do this, the less prepared Jack and Joe will be. Aiden. Aiden. And we started on the wrong foot. A sip of courage. Should you be drinking this much before the mission, Barney? Me? <laughs> I got the toughest liver in Philidor. Worry more about yourself, Pilgrim. Where's Sophie? There. On the rooftop. I'm watching you, Pilgrim.
Interesting. Apparently the peacekeepers are watching us. Well, let them see what happens to Jack and Joe, and that we can do it to them too. <sighs> well, you said it was time to act. We're acting. I sent three scouts towards the camp. Carl and the crystals must be somewhere inside the building. Guards. Most are probably asleep. There are a few entrances to the camp. The front one, suicide. It's got the most guards. You go in first, we'll move in from the other side. And then we'll catch them in a pincer movement. If anything goes wrong, we retreat to our base. Where? The Tango Motel. Change of plan, Vaden. They attack our safe house. Who? Sophie? You have my men there. Find Carl. Save him and get our crystals. Fast. I'll do what I can.
deck of cards on him. I'm so funny. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>
Jack and Joe are just plain sneaky scumbags. Looking to trade? Bring more of those. Come back again. Back on. Hey then, where the fuck are you? Barney knew Lucas was trying to capture him. Jack and Joe warned him. Got our water. He could have avoided the trap, but he went into it anyway. That's when Lucas was killed. Maybe we should check out Barney's hideout at the Hotel Tango. I'll make sure the place is safe. Haven't seen my kids <laughs> because of this ridiculous blockade this <laughs> How could you, Anna? Got nothing to say. Where's my flower, thief? But it's you, you Cash. Owes on me the barrel head gets you. Months of wages. Stuff. That's got you written all over it. Surprising choice. chance to move your asses out of here with my boot you bitch break it up you can go search barney's stuff the coast is clear now What is? Yesterday. 
You know, this used to be a bell tower. A hum in my ears. Looking for something special? And that's what counts. Always need this. Been looking for those. That'll help. Yeah, I'll take that. You know your business. Come back for more. So 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 <laughs> Aiden, I saw Sophie and her men near the water tower. So the place should be empty now. But I don't know when they'll be back.
This place is a pigsty. Skin. Hakon, I found the tattoo they cut out of Lucas. Damn freaks. What? Yeah. Mm. Oh, I'm gonna throw up. Get the hell out of there. We still ain't no arrest. Why are you going through my sister's stuff? Didn't know they were hiring pilgrims as housekeepers in this hole. Are you shedding skin, Barney? What the fuck is... We didn't... A little piece of Lucas to remember him by, you sicko. Fuck you. Nice try, but that ain't mine. I'll kill you, you son of a bitch! <laughs> Turn your back on me, will you? <laughs> On here for fuck's sake are you nuts he's he's setting us up this fucking pilgrim is framing us what is he talking about aiden i found the proof hidden among your things proof o of what you cut the tattoo from commander lucas's arm after his death or when he was still alive you're out of your mind i didn't do it maybe you didn't but your crazy brother? Barney's not a psycho. We have nothing to do with Lucas's death. I'm going to Ader. I've got the proof he's looking for. Aiden, it's not us. Nobody at the bazaar will believe you. Then where did this piece of skin come from, Sophie? Could have been planted to set us up. Ever think of that? Who would do that? And why? To distract everyone from the real killer. Who gained the most from killing Lucas? Who had the most to gain? If it was that easy for you to get in here, then someone else could have come in here before you and planted that. Doesn't matter. This is between you and Ader now. Wait! Please. Ader doesn't care about the truth. He doesn't care about finding the real killer. He's only looking for a reason to raid the bazaar. It's not my war, Sophie. No. But you'll have blood on your hands. Blood of innocence. Someone is setting us up. Someone clever. We're not sadists who would skin Lucas, Aiden. And you know it. But I know that you want to get rid of the PKs. Yes. And we will get rid of them. But not like psychos and assassins, Aiden. Believe me, this is a setup. I'll help you get to the center. I promise. How? By getting rid of the biggest problem of this land. The PKs. That seems dangerous. We've been preparing for this for a long time. I'll tell you everything when I'm ready. Stay close to your radio, Aiden. Time to make some changes around here.
orders for the Carnage Hall tournament. <laughs> Aiden, this is Sophie. Come to the bazaar. We're having a powwow. You ready to get me to the center? I'll tell you everything when you get here. Hurry up.
Philidor problems. Sweet Aiden? weapon you got. You know me? Yeah. I was hoping I'd bump into you, actually. Let me introduce myself. I'm Rahim. I run Sparker, the first post-apocalyptic dating service. Yeah, congratulations, but I don't have time for dating, really. You have to. I already made you a card. Whoa. <laughs> what? I created a profile for you. A uh, profile on, on a card? What on earth for? Well, it's my job. The world may have ended, and most of our loved ones have turned into bloodthirsty monsters roaming the streets, but uh, that doesn't mean people have stopped being lonely. I mean, shit, that's exactly why they're lonely these days. You mean to tell me there was a time when people weren't lonely? Imagine a world where people actually went out to work, shopping, walking their dog, and on top of that, they had dating apps. Um, uh, apps? Okay, okay, never mind. What I'm trying to say is that before the shit hit the fan, we used to socialize. There were parties, you know, when people got together just for the sake of being together. And of course, to get laid. <laughs> now, everyone just stays home behind closed doors because, well, meeting new people can result in getting clubbed in the skull for a bucket of water. So, well, let me get this straight. Your cards help people meet. Basically, yes. People who want to meet other people come see me. I draw them. I'm pretty good at that. Or at least, that's what I'm told. Then, I put their portrait on a card and display it on my dating board. If someone's interested, they get in touch with me and... Voila! A romance is born. Not always for very long, but... Uh, I guess that's something that hasn't changed. But right now... I'm in deep shit, and I desperately need help. Of course you do. Some shithead trying to imitate me forged several Sparker cards. They scattered them around town. That's infringement. It's ruining my reputation and disorienting my customers. I need someone to collect these fake cards for me and bring them back. I heard that talentless hack was killed in a dark zone, so he won't be bothering me again. And I managed to find most of the fake cards. But there are two left I couldn't get hold of. Bring them to me, and I'll give you the card I've made for you. Check the map on the wall. I've marked possible locations for the fake cards. Haven't you heard? We've got our water back. I've <sighs> been seeing my kids in months because of this ridiculous blockade at the center. This is madness, Sophie. The peacekeepers have more weapons. Men. They will crush us like worms. Ator may have more men, but we have the home field advantage. Home field advantage? You're crazy. I forbid it. While I lead the bazaar, no one will attack the peacekeepers. You no longer lead the bazaar. What? You're no leader, Carl. Never were. We lost people because of you. Crystals. You almost got yourself killed. My mother wanted a free bazaar, not slaves serving the peacekeepers. I want to restore peace here. You can help me with this, or leave. Roger, Humphrey, arrest them. What are you doing? They want to betray the bazaar. Roger! You have no power anymore, Carl. You want to be like your mother? 
You have blood on your hands, Sophie. A lot of blood. Crawl is right. We don't stand a chance in open battle. Sophie? What the... Therefore, we're gonna weaken them first. What do you mean? We'll cut off their main source of electricity. Without UV lamps, Ador can't defend his base. They will be driven from the metro tunnels and cut off from the armory. How does all this get me to the central loop? Once Ador is weakened, he will retreat for reinforcements. Then you can make it to the central loop, Aiden. But first, we have to blow up the windmill. And fast, before Ador gets wind of what we're planning. Barney, gather our people. Be ready. Roger and Humphrey, go to the armory. Provide weapons to anyone capable of fighting. And you, Aiden, go to Alberto and Vincenzo. They'll walk you through the plan. Okay. Community and freedom, Aiden. Together, we will win. Everything all right? No. Everything is not all right. Please. It's my boys. They've gone missing. I haven't seen them for hours. Mo is 13. Scotty's 16. Please. Yeah, boys their age do tend to wander off. Uh-uh. Not my boys. They always tell me where they're going and when they'll be back. This time was no different, but... My birthday's coming up. It'd be just like them to get into trouble planning a surprise. I'd die. You understand? If something happened to them, I'd... All right, I can try to find them. As a pilgrim, I did plenty of tracking. What? A pilgrim? You're lucky this is about my children. I know what sort of people become pilgrims. Otherwise, I'd want nothing to do with you. I just want to help. Where should I start to look? Right here. Sometimes they play with this filthy little boy by the church walls. All right, I'll check it out. You stay here and wait. And you're supposed to be an only child. First tournament in three years. They'll attract the toughest fighters in the city. This new armor of yours is flimsy. More fit for a beetle than people. Yeah, way too thin. Felix Stein! 
Peter shows a great protection. This is top craftsmanship, made from the finest quality materials. Built from... Ah! Uh-oh, I can almost see the steam pouring from his ears. Look out, he's gonna blow. <laughs> titanium. We reinforce the armor with titanium we pulled from the scrapyard. That's why they're lighter and better protection. You guys shouldn't be such dicks. Well, why didn't he just say so? We'll see. Thanks, Vincenzo. You didn't have to. It was nothing, Dad. Ah. As for you, those two oafs took the last titanium vests. No, I'm not here for armor. Sophie sent me. You're supposed to bring me in on some plan? The plan? My plan? Carl agreed? Carl agreed! You hear that, Vincenzo? Not Carl. Sophie. You gonna share or do I have to guess? Windmill. We take down the windmill. Bingo! The big windmill that provides power to the PK headquarters. But first, we need the charges that Jack and Joe left at the water tower. Hm? Would you bring them to us, Pilgrim? After we blow it up, all the UV lamps in the PK headquarters will go out. That'll allow the infected to attack them. Hm? Old Villador will be free again. And you, you have a clear road to, uh, uh, you know, the past chemical fallout and to, uh, uh, what's it called? The central loop. The central loop, right. How do you know the PK will withdraw and not retaliate? Because Dad designed this windmill. He knows it like the back of his hand. And it's the PK base's only power source. Without it, the PKs won't last another night in Old Villador. But we must act fast before the peacekeepers catch wind of our plans. So, you win? Okay, so the windmill powers all the PK's UV lamps? Yes, it does indeed. A lot of people will die. Only if the PK don't turn tail and head back to where they belong. They stole that windmill from us. It was ours. Lucas and his men, they... When they came, they... Ah! Ah! Damn it! Took, took it. it. Exactly. They took it. Without electricity, Ator can't keep anyone here. We have generators, smaller power sources. They need a large power source. They'll have to withdraw. And before they return with backup from the central loop, we'll block the tunnel ourselves. Their commander, Jack Matt, is not going to risk fighting in the dark with the infected and renegades at his back. Old Villador will be ours again, and you will go to the center. All right, fine. I'll do it. Okay, go to the water tower. We're going to use the charges that Jack and Joe tried to blow it up with. Let me know once you get there. We finally put our plan into action. About time I so. gave you money to buy water, and what did you do? Well, the card was good for me. How should I not know this camera? You couldn't have screwed it up more than you did.
What's going on here? PKs. They've been searching us for weapons. Found our Molotovs and went apeshit. Slaughtering everyone in sight. Looks like someone set us up. Who? And where are the bombs for Alberto? We managed to send some out. The couriers last reported near Star Square. Then silence. Alberto? The charges are gone. I'm going to the Star Square. That was their last check-in. Oh. Oh, my. Exactly. Ada? Yeah. Be careful. Someone sold us out. Find the, the charges. Without them, the plan cannot proceed. Doing what I can. I'll be in touch. PK's ambushed your transport? He searched everyone and everything. Eventually they found the bomb. Someone tipped them off. And they took everything? Dunno. Suddenly something scared them off. And what? Where are the charges? Hey! Um, they were in the yard. Come on, maybe they didn't steal all of them. Lucky few of the infected showed up. Everyone scattered, probably leaving the bombs behind. Don't know why they didn't steal them. They were right under their noses. Morons. <laughs> Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> 
Alberto, I have the charges. Wonderful! Excellent! So what are you waiting for? Come back! Here I come. Yeah. <sighs> 
Where's your father? There you are. Only two? The PKs took the rest. Damn, damn it, triple damn. Because of that traitor, our plan is in danger. We must act quickly. No, nitrates. We need fertilizer. Then we can make more explosives. The old night runners, they've got everything. And certainly all we'll need to make more bombs. I know a guy lives on a rooftop. Friend, not foe. It depends. Killian, you know him? My Hakon's friend, Killian? Yes, Killian. I'll explain how to... How to... Uh, add. I know the way, thanks. Buy a thousand fireworks! Get a move on, Pilgrim! Find something you like in the bazaar? Killian! Killian! It's Aiden! There's Hakon. Back then, everyone must have thought BFFs forever. Bingo. Alberto, I have your fertilizer. It's Vincenzo. Vincenzo? I, I can barely hear you. The PKs. They raided my place. I can't talk. The traitor. He sold us all out. Hayden, Dad, went ahead to the windmill. Meet him there. I meet you when I can. Make sure that fertilizer gets to my dad. Okay, I'll do my best. Just come quick. They're still after me. I'm pinned down, Hayden. Another patrol. You have to do it without me. Join my dad. I'll be on the radio the whole time. Me and your dad? You think that's a good idea? We have no choice, Aiden. Hurry. Exactly what I'm afraid of. I'll stay with you on the radio. Hello? Vincenzo? Hello?
Chenzo, I, I can't hear you. No, look, you have to. What? What do I have to do? Fertilizer. Are you sure you got this? Of course I'm sure. And if I don't know something, I can ask Vincenzo. Ah, the windmill's causing too much interference. The radio doesn't work. Ah. Then I'll figure it out myself. It's as easy as I. And you're certain? He explained everything to me. Relax. We'll do. Me and you will do. <laughs> no reason we won't do just. And Fine. Like I said, easy as pie. The bombs are ready. You're up. Take the charges and secure them to the spots Vincenzo marked for us. Planting bombs. Oh, what could go wrong? Easy as pie, right? Yes, precisely. Like I said, easy as pie.
See that? What's this? It's on now. Explosives are in place. Time for the fireworks. Would you like the honors? I know how much this means to you.
the detonator isn't triggering. Must be interference from the wind. Uh, it doesn't look like it did much. The windmill's still standing. Hey, look, the rotor's still spinning. Vincenzo's calculations. They must be off. I'll have it fixed in a flash. Gotta see this through. It's my fault. What are you doing? An armed bomb? Before the PKs get here. Giving you an armed... Um, ah, ah, armed... Ah, ah. We can't rely on radio detonation. Not with all the interference. What now? This one is guaranteed to blow up the whole windmill. All right, how much time do I have? Let me count. Hmm? It'll blow any second. Run! But... Where am I supposed to put it? Where? You have to go back! A and? And plant it on... Uh, place it on... Put it on... The... Plant it... Plant it where? On the generator? No! Not there! Leave it by the base of the windmill? No! That will accomplish nothing! On the rota! You have to climb up to the rota! To the very top? Are you serious? The bomb's ticking, Aiden. You really think we have time for jokes? Faster. Go on. Hello? Hey, Alberto? Coming! 
sons of bitches. What have you done to him? Want some of this? My boy! No, that's what I call a boom. <laughs> I got my boom. <laughs> You, you, you got them pretty good, huh? And we, we got them good. Without you, the windmill would still be standing. Almost like the fireworks in 90, uh, 90, uh, even, ah, oh, man, I'm old. And you'll just keep getting older. Quit the bullshit, Aiden. I'm not that adult. <sighs> Thanks for helping me. <laughs> I know what they think of me. Of course I know. Tell everyone we pulled this off thanks to Vincenzo. Okay. <laughs> That's thanks to you, Alberto. No. Thanks to Vincenzo, okay? They laugh at him. Laugh because of me. <laughs> but now that we've done this, they won't laugh anymore. See, his, his old man's, huh? Not a cook or a, or a failure anymore. <laughs> Force the peacekeepers to withdraw. Say it was him. Promise me. All right. Okay. Oh, and tell him. Tell him that... That's okay. I'll tell him. That I'm proud. Never told him that. Son, I'm proud of you. I'll tell him for you. I promise. I still have to take care of. You don't get it. There's no time to waste. We can make our way to the center now. Everyone's too busy to notice. I promised Alberto I'd tell his son something for him. Do you want to finish your business or play shepherd spreading the good word? Well, it's bad news, Hakan. Alberto is dead. I see. But the metro is empty. There might never be another chance like this. Are you sure? I have to go find Vincenzo, Hakon. I promised. A night fucking errand. Hurry! Remember Sarah and Yana. Find me at their place when you're done. If you're still alive.
Pilgrim guy never gave us that one. The commander was a certified psycho. Get what you need. Cleaned up. Didn't put up much of a fight. Yeah, because they're cowards. Told you before. What about the prisoners? Throw them in the dungeon? Unless you feel like banging them first. Look. It's Chubbs. They killed Chubbs? Looks like it. But only him, I think. We gotta tell Anderson. Yeah, but where is she? Should have been here ages ago. I'll look for her. We should have brought the gloves. <laughs> Yeah! 
You're free. I thought it was over, man. I can't believe Carl betrayed us. Fuck, Pilgrim. At first I thought you gave us up. But Carl... If it wasn't for him, the Peacekeepers wouldn't have attacked. But he fled right after the blast. There are more on the upper level. Okay, I'll go there. You run. Be scared. It's safe now. Thank you. Hey, Sophie. So where's Vincenzo? Aiden, watch out! Aiden's gonna pay me hella gold for you. Good. Shit. Guy wasn't even worth a golden shower. Get up, Aiden. Thanks, man. That makes us even. It's not over yet. Aiden! Aiden! Come on, oh. coward! Ooh. Come down and fight! You better get out of here, Anderson. You're on bizarre turf. Look, tell Aiden there's still time to call this off. Why would he do that? We're winning. You're stupider than I thought. Come down and fight, and stop using your bizarre Ooh. buddies as human shields. Aiden, no! <laughs> We have reports that Ader's men are retreating. The plan worked. We took out their lights and the infected tore them to pieces. They don't stand a chance without him. Ader withdrew his men. They're in the metro tunnels. We're not getting to the center that way. Carl betrayed us. He's the one who went to the peacekeepers and warned them. Claimed he wanted to prevent bloodshed, but made things worse. But now, I run the bazaar, and I promise. We will defeat Ador, and I will take you to the central loop. Sophie runs the bazaar! For Sophie! <laughs> they know how many PK creeps it takes to screw in a light bulb? None, because they're too dead to screw anything. <laughs> Alberto's dead. <laughs> Don't be a buzzkill, Aiden. Yeah. <laughs> I'm serious. He was killed taking down the windmill. How'd it happen? We put Vincenzo's plan into motion, but then... Alberto had to go in his son's place. Sacrificed himself to blow up the windmill. Fuck me. 
to Alberto. To Alberto. So, where's Vincenzo? He's outside. Look around. Vincenzo. <laughs> we did it, Aiden. My dad, he really did it. Your father wanted me to tell you, um, he's always been proud of you. Very proud. What? Why are you telling me this and not him? He died, Vincenzo. Died for the bazaar. Was he in pain when he died? No, he was all smiles because of you and because he was able to carry out your plan. Thanks for being there with him, Aiden. Your dad kicked ass, Vincenzo. Yeah, Alberto's all right. Hell of a craftsman. For a loser, you mean. For a failure. That's what you used to say. If only we had more like Alberto, the PKs would have been gone ages ago. You? Go in and check on Vincenzo. Now! You did a freaking awesome job, Aiden. We'll beat the PK and we'll help you get to the center. You're one of us now, brother. You're part of the Bizarre family. Thanks, Barney. Good luck. Good luck, Pilgrim. Hey, Hakon. Where are you? I'm waiting for you at the girl's place. You'd better hurry, Aiden. The passage to the center, it's blocked. I have another idea. Just come quickly. Time is not on our side. Okay, I'm coming. Who could have expected it? Fucking pilgrim. Hakon. Ah, you're finally here. Let's go. When Yana heard you were coming, she grabbed Sarah and they left. Seems they weren't too fond of you. Hey, where are we at? Uh... <laughs> ah, what? <laughs> Fucking hell. <clears throat> uh... Calm down, just let me see. 
Let me see. Oh, I'll help. Fuck. Wait. I'll help. Ah. Show me. Relax. You're gonna pull through. What's that? The wound from the Lazarus? You so you killed Lucas. If not for those brass knuckles, it would only took a few seconds to do the job. Ah. I thought he was a better fighter. Ah! The fuck are you saying? Ah, no point denying it with this wound, right? So you carved ah. out his tattoo and planted it on Barney. Ah, Walt, he ordered the killer. You're working with Walt and you didn't tell me? You piece of shit. Oh, you don't get it, kid. Walt would have killed me, you see, like he killed Dylan. And anyone who defies him. I have to get out of here, get it? I couldn't have told you. Why? You know he's the one who tortured me in the past. I didn't tell you in order to protect you. So what if you find out something about your sister? Waltz will kill you. Where is he? Ah, fuck. Where is Waltz? Supposed to meet him under the electric car factory in the GRE tunnel. Hey, then I'm fucking dead here, understand? They're gonna kill me. You'd leave me. You'd leave me now. I should leave you to die for what you did. Why wouldn't you? I'm gonna find that sniper first. Ah. <sighs> really? You do that for me? A life for a life. After that, we're fucking done. No, nothing. Use your binoculars. Shut up. I'm done listening to your sage advice. I know, I cocked up. Let's leave it at that. Those bolts fly far and fast. Find something to hide behind. Tell me something I don't already know, Hakon. I got eyes, Hakon. I see him, Aiden. He's sticking to the roof. Go! That prick's got an eagle eye.
Drop the ladder. Well, so much for surprise. We figure something out. Still in one piece. <clears throat> for now, yes. I gotta get behind him somehow. wants to kill you, Hakon. Ader, the, uh, the PKs. I lost track ages ago. better. Why are you hunting Hakon? Uh, is this about the killing Lucas, sir? Tell Hakon that it's not over wait. yet. Hey, 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 wait, hey, hey, wait, 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 wait! Ah. Oh. Hakon, you still alive? My meter's still running. Akon, yeah, she got away. But you're safe. For now. She? There's a woman. Fuck. Yeah, and I don't think she likes you. That sounded personal. Personal, huh? Doesn't usually narrow it down. But I know who it is. Watch out for her, Eden. She's one of the most dangerous people you'll ever meet. And noted. Now I'm going to the central loop. Beware of Waltz, Eden. Renegades have appeared all over the center, and he's working with them. He's looking for the key you've got. I'm done listening to your advice. Sophie, I'm gonna need your help getting to the center. The guy who was supposed to get me there, he... Well, things got complicated. Ader's men are still fighting. They barricaded themselves inside the tunnel. I can't help you. What about our agreement? Relax. Listen. There's another way through. An old tunnel under the hills near the Tango Motel. It was used by smugglers. Peacekeepers didn't even know about it. It's been closed for years. But if you manage to start the generators, you might be able to get to the center. And you're telling me this just now. Sorry, Adam. I want to help you. But most of all, I have to help the bazaar. Good luck, Pilgrim. Thank <laughs> you. 
Yeah, kind of. Bit busy. Just letting you know, we've detected movement among the PKs. They're looking for you. Take care, and good luck. Tunnel. This could be the place Hakon talked about, but no sign of Waltz. There's some kind of generator around here. Just what I needed. Yeah. 
What's behind door number one? Hey, you, know, you don't call, you don't write, and it was such a promising friendship. Waltz ordered Lucas's death. Detective Aiden won't rest until he solves the case. You expect me to believe you? Why would I? <laughs> because Waltz is here. Hang on. Boys, search the tunnel. And why would Waltz have Lucas killed? To weaken the PKs, to put a wedge between you, spread chaos. I don't know his plans. <coughs> I fucking hate politics. <clears throat> and you picked the wrong side. What else is there to discuss? Aider, Aider, they're attacking the headquarters. The Zarians, they took the metro station. <laughs> what the fuck? Come on, grab that door. This gun did it. Weren't you, Aider? <sighs> the electricity's off. We need to find the fuse box. What's going on here? Who turned it off? Who do you think? You're gonna be a smart ass now. I'm just saying, let's get him. Hmm? Well, you can't escape anyway. Okay, search for the fuse box. There should be a utility room nearby. Hepa! Check the other entrance. You two search that tunnel. It's a maze, but if Waltz is hiding here, he had to leave a trail like any slug. We're waiting, Aiden. Do you have anything? There are some wires, but it's all flooded. This doesn't look good, Lieutenant. The equipment's been shut down for 15 years. Keep looking. Hopefully that's not the reason for the short circuit. Someone was here. They yanked out the cord. Yeah. 
Has Hakon been through here? <clears throat> Damn. Someone must have locked that door. Leash. Save it for your trial, just before they cut your head off. Do you really <clears throat> think that's how this is going to play out, Lieutenant? Lucas's death was just the beginning. You admit you hadn't killed. Take him. Why does his death bother you? You're not enjoying your new role. New status, new challenges, new possibilities. Don't I deserve a thank you for making this possible? Nicely put. Now enough of your crap. Coffee, Pepper. I'm glad you finally joined us. Shut up, Walt. Now, give back what you stole from me. Give back the key, boy, or you will all die. Fuck! Pepper! What are you waiting for? Kill it! you've done the little boy wants to pretend he's a grown-up but he's no grown-up just a precious little boy Walt says the GRE key. This is it, Waltz. I'm coming for you.
Where is she? You. I already killed you once. This time, I'll do it right. You're one of my curious. Good. Before I kill you, you'll get a chance to witness something spectacular. Everything comes full circle. We return to the beginning. And now, you will witness history in the making. A history? Five years old! You taught your kids! We were kids! You were part of something greater. You owe it to me that you are still alive. That you are stronger than others. Special. That you are stronger than I could have imagined. Yet not as strong as me. Any last words? What have you done to my sister? Sister? What have you done to me? Aiden, you're alive. <laughs> <sighs> Yeah. <sighs> 
Right. Now talk. Who the fuck are you? I'm Aiden. And you? Why are you helping me? Show me your arm. Come on. I won't bite. Well, not hard. We have something in common. I was one of that crazy fucker's subjects, too. And Mia? Did you know a girl named Mia? Mia? No. Who's Mia? She's my sister. We were in a GRE place together. I have to find her. Well, if she's alive, she must be pouring herself with water somewhere in the city. What? Not that I'd blame her. What, what are you saying? Fuck you! Whoa, Gadjo. Sign of the times. The world we live in. Just saying. I have to find her. Well, first, let's fuck out of here. Not sure we managed to ditch that psycho. Hey, wait! Hell, she's fast. away do you have nightmares about what he did to us all the time that's why i want to kill the fucker waltz is number three on my list so waltz experimented on you when how long when it's blurry the time i spent there but i was a lucky one managed to run after a few weeks i don't remember you I'll take that as a compliment. Those who do don't usually have fond memories. Most prefer to forget me, if they survive. Yeah, but you ran. Sort of. What about the rest of the kids who were in the hospital? Oh, man. Someday someone will write a book about it. And it ain't gonna be a bedtime story. Most of them are gone. I ran across one guy, though. He'll sleep with a knife in his hand for the rest of his life. In the refrigerator, he converted into a shelter for himself. That he'll never leave. We didn't organize a therapy group, if that's what you're asking. Wait, you got a hit list? <laughs> Seriously? Do I look like I'm kidding? The city's got a lot of trash, and I'm the maid who's gonna make it the capital of cleanliness. Uh, who else is on it? Besides Waltz, Butcher, Hathon, and you know what? It's a very long list. There's a few small fries that deserve a bolt between the eyes as well. And by whose authority are you doing this? <laughs> you kidding me? The highest court of justice in the land. My own noble authority, your honor. And you? What were you doing with that bastard Hakon? You'll have a hard time believing this, but he saved my life. When I came to town, I was infected, and no biomarker. People at the bazaar wanted to hang me. Sure, I'd do it myself. But he got me out of there, got me a biomarker. Can't believe he duped me. He dupes everyone, like everyone. I trusted him once too. Really? Tell me about it. 
Maybe someday. But my story's similar to yours. He tricked me, and people died. Better forget about him. Or do like me. When you see him next, make sure you have a crossbow and a bunch of bolts handy. Okay, enough chatting. Let's go. <laughs> Bossy. I like that. We gotta go. GRE noticed? At some point they did. I heard that's why they kicked him out. Too bad it was too late. And Hakon, why is he on the list? Because he killed Lucas? No. I like those blue puppets, the PKs. But no, I don't give a shit about Lucas's death. And why then? That, my dear, is a long story for another day. Let's just say everyone on that list deserves a headshot, and Hakon deserves something worse. Always open. We're locked out. <sighs> Fucking great. This is a GRE facility, isn't it? Oh man, it worked. Where did you get that? You know Dylan? How do you know Dylan? No is an overstatement. He contacted me because he wanted to escape the city and waltz. He was frightened. Something must have happened, or he found something. What could he have found? I don't know. He knew I was in touch with Frank, but then Dylan just disappeared, stopped making contact. Dylan gave me this before he died. Waltz killed him. Fucking... So he got him after all. Also, Dylan told me to find someone named Bawan. You know who that is? Maybe we were meant to meet each other. The universe brought us together for some fucked up reason. What? I am the one. Dylan wanted to contact Frank. He said the PK commander at Lucas found something. Something Waltz had been looking for for a long time. He wanted to escape the city so that Waltz wouldn't get it. The GRE key? I have it now. <laughs> Probably. Lucas died because of this gizmo. Dylan, too. Watch out. Or you'll be next. It's valuable. For Waltz, and valuable, I suppose. So you'd better not lose it. Look out! Now what's going on? Impossible. Waltz must have switched on the generators. But Waltz? But why? Don't have a clue. Who knows what's in that fucker's head? Come on. Hurry, Ladies before they go off again. The train is delayed. The Metro service is sorry for any inconvenience. Please mind the gap. Thank you for your attention. You're fucking welcome. Hurry, Aiden. Seems we have a clear path to the central loop. Ladies and gentlemen, the train is delayed. The Metro service is sorry for any inconvenience. Please mind the gap. Thank you for your attention. Sightseeing. <laughs> Funny. Ugh, fuck. Oh, shit, look! My 
It's here too. Look, it's all right it's up. fucking unbelievable. Come, uh, come up to the roof. We'll check it from Son, above. The See you at the top. To lead us to heaven. Damn it. I was wrong. Can't see shit. I really thought it'd work. You were fucking duped. Uh, well, um... At least it's peaceful. That's why I come here when I'm pissed off. So a lot, believe me. Look, Aiden, they're back on. They're fucking coming back on. <laughs> you see that, Aiden? You see that? It's beautiful. Oh, I can't believe it. No, I just can't believe it. <laughs> Oh, I see it, Daniel. I'm at a lookout point, and it's quite the show. How's this happen? Dark as hell for 15 years, and suddenly this? I don't know. Don't know. But we need to find out. Then drop by the canteen and let's talk. Been missing you like last year's snow, Loka. While shotgunning beers and screwing bartenders. You know me. It's a gift. <laughs> Let me get you there, dumbass. This is, something's wrong. No. Oh, no, 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 no! No! Fuck! What the hell's going on? So that's the fish eye. Okay, how do we get there? The fish eyes gotta wait. You gotta wait? But why? We need to check the substations. One's over there, level with the PK tower. What about the fish eye? Listen, I wanna help you, and I will help. We'll do this together. But you have to understand, it's the first... It's been the same situation for over 10 years. 10 years of this fucking darkness. We gotta check this out. How do we get to the substation? It's an old paraglider. It'll help you get to places you normally can't reach. Just follow me. Wait, 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 wait. Ah, fuck. It's easier than it looks. I still can't believe this is happening. I think Walt's turned the power on somehow. But why would he do that? He's never helped anyone. Why would he give people power back? Are you sure it was him? He used the GRE key in the car factory. I think that's when everything lit up. That makes sense. Years ago, the military took over the plant to secure the energy cells on the hills. But I had no idea they could still be made to work and power half the city. Keep an eye on that key, Aiden. Hell knows what else can be done with it. We better hurry to the substation. No, it was a race. It's always a race, Aiden. Uh.
Bug, you better keep practicing if you hope to beat me. I didn't know it was a race. It's always a race, Aiden. better, Aiden. But you have to control the wind. Otherwise, it controls you. Okay, from here, it's not far at all to the substation. Go there and activate it. Wait, on my own? <laughs> You're a big boy. You'll figure it out. There's another one near the metro. I'll check that one. If we get one or both of these working, it means we can activate all of them. Hey, but how do I activate it? It's not rocket science, Aiden. Those are old systems. I guess we need to make sure fuses and cables are working. This paraglider, can it be made to fly faster? Possibly, but that's something you should ask the Craftmaster about. Nightrunner's favorite toy. Are you a Nightrunner? Me? Nightrunner? <laughs> I wish. They were really something here. Real heroes. And the only thing I had in common with them was substance abuse. But
Hey, you. Seen any signs of renegades around here? No. See, Private? Now calm down and let Aglot think. What's there to think about? Why not head back to base? Who the heck are you, anyway? I'm someone offering to help. I'll check what happened to the power. Know anything else about it? That's top secret military information. We're trying to figure out how to get up there. Just go ahead and tell him everything, why don't you? Every last detail. Well, what's the big secret, huh? We need to get this piece of shit working, that's what. My colleague's vastly oversimplifying things, but his gist is correct. There are obvious signs of the electricity having returned, and this here appears to be a substation. It and others like it are capable of transmitting electricity throughout the city. We have orders to get this building functioning once more. Meaning, turn it back on. Unfortunately, without climbing equipment, access to it is severely limited. You want the electricity for the peacekeepers? What would you do with it? Plug shit in. What do you think? The gentleman here must be asking how it would affect other people if the control of power is in the hands of peacekeepers. The answer, however, is relatively simple as well. Whoever controls the power controls the city. I can climb up there without the equipment. You'd be willing to do that? You'd be doing a great favor for the peacekeeper. Uniform decoys! Electricity brings all the lights up. Just raring to get played. What was players. that he said? I think it was something about his mother and a goat. PK morons! We'll be taking that electricity. Thank you very much. Kill him! you, bud. Who taught you how to fight like that? Name's Aiden. Hey, you guys know this one? What do the bullets say to the man that got shot? Just passing through. Yeah! <laughs> you severed his limbs with a machete, Nitaf. Technically speaking, that's a melee weapon, while bullets are reserved for... I'm glad you're fine, too. Your friend wasn't so lucky. Yeah. Lately, they've been sending them fresh out of a real shortened boot camp. Or without any at all. Recruits. Cannon fodder in Central Command's eyes. That's enough, Nitaf. Watch your words. Right, of course. So, how about it, bud? Still want to climb up there? Not for free, of course. 
We reward specialists fittingly. I don't have time like now. If you need any help up there, give us a holler over the radio. Aglot's good with electronics. However, from here, I can estimate the level of damage done to the apparatus. Aglot's got a knack for electronics. I thought you were going to climb up there. Inside. How's it look? Oh, somebody was in a big hurry when they took it offline. I would surmise the main circuit suffered a break. Find a cable and connect the source of power to the transmitter. That should restore the circuit. On top of the substation, trying to connect power to the transmitter. Uh, wasn't a piece of cake in here after all. Sure, you're gonna make it? I met a bunch of PKs who couldn't get to the substation themselves. So that's why you haven't called me yet. You should see them. Get to decide which one I like more. You know that'll cost you, right? The peacekeepers, they're all right, but they're not the sort to help out of the kindness of their hearts. I wouldn't know what to do if it wasn't for them. Besides, they're down there, and I'm the one up here. Tough choice, huh? I wouldn't give it to them. I mean, fuck them. They have their own men. And what about the free folk? Someone should be on their side. Who else, if not people like us? Hmm. I'll think about it. Just don't take too long, Gajo. Wait, what? I'm already done here, and you're dicking around over there. Always with the competition, huh?
Plugged it in. What now? Activate the control unit. It's in the control room. On my way. Your help is an important contribution to make this city safer. I just wanted to say that so you feel appreciated and so you understand how important this is. Okay. Thank you. I guess.
Not bad. Not bad at all. Not bad. Right, Aglot? Optimal, even. Here's your pay, as per our verbal agreement. Working with you has been a pleasure, Aiden. Same. You take care of yourselves. So you did it. Are you pissed at me? Nah. Your choice. And I know why. But if it were me, I'm for the free folk all the way. There are a lot more substations. If we could get them all going... Can we first go to the fisheye and... Yeah, sure. Let's meet in the canteen. I'll wait for you there. this convenient or what? Don't forget about us. Buy early, buy often. Interesting item. Hope you got what you needed. The Butch is our greatest enemy. He's responsible for the Black Monday bombings and the death of two million people.
repaired the ship the other day. some of the others. Yeah, maybe just don't give them all to the peacekeepers, huh?
Anybody else see that? Thank me for our work. Moments like this remind me why I enlisted.
Go on, you there? Go on. I guess I'll look around. It's a miracle. We got and, and then all of a sudden, everything. So, have the powers. Has the wand been here? If anyone knows, it's the bartender. So, anyways, my business. Hey, looking for Lawan? You know I can find her? She was just here. Boo! Still didn't break your neck? Good. This him? The gajo you were talking about? Damn you are. I've heard a lot about you. Oh, really? So good or bad, thanks. Not a hideous gajo. Medic have Kyla Van Lupino toot. Sarchawa Vesowa Dukhawa to Tiknok Fu Bakrano Merak Hava Tut Fchuvava Tre Tutar Vuznia. Daniel! Back off, you imbecile. Navachav Weska, Yovsa Alsaidero. Wesa Subida. Jesus. Jealous much, Daniel? We were never together, got it? Give it a rest. What are you talking about? That Levant's friends are my friends. Daniel says that to get the power flowing, we have to reactivate the other substations. The power plant's on, but the cables couldn't take it. Fifteen years took a toll. Atrophy musculare means juite. Untrained muscles wither. Come on, Frank's room is over there. Let's figure out why Waltz turned it on in the first place. Good talk, Gajo. Better watch your back. You have somewhere to be. Who thought he'd be capable of killing a PK commander? Well? You know, when they dug the Metro in the 1960s, they came across mining tunnels. Everything collapsed. With the Carnage Hall tournament coming? Going? One thing about Frank. Do you see these people? Anywhere else, they'd be savages at each other's throats, but not here. Here, they stay calm, cool, and collected because of Frank. They respect him because he was a night runner. Everyone here owes him something, including me. If it wasn't for Frank, I wouldn't be here. And where would you be? In a dark zone as a biter? Or in some den, high and about to get higher? Frank will help us. You can rely on him too. Trust me. Ready? Let's go. Frank! They slaughtered us. One by one like fucking rabbits. Frank? Frank, it's me. Wake up! You? What the fuck you doing here? Interrupting my conversation with... Ravik's been dead for years, Frank. Pull yourself together. You got a visitor. And who's that? Queen of fucking England? I gotta act old Danny now. This is Aiden. He has the GRE access key. Waltz used it to turn on the electricity in town. Working GRE key? You're full of shit. Show it to him. Where'd you get it? Uh, from one of Waltz's men. So you want a Waltz's men too? Hey, easy, Frank. Aiden is on our side. We think this contains data proving what they did to us in the hospital. Uh, so you still believe you'll find out why Waltz fucked up your childhood? Okay, I'll tell you. Ready? Uh, yeah, because he's a fucking psycho. He's fucked in the head. That's your holy grail and Ark of the Covenant all in one, Loan. Happy? Aiden, right? You and Luan can get the fuck out of my face now. I got more important things in my mind. <sighs> I wonder if 
worked if that fucker had showed up at the TV station. You were right, Ravik. Fucking traitor. Without him, we were like kids with slingshots going up against tanks. We're not finished here, Frank. This contains info on someone I'm looking for, too. I need to know how to read it. It's a fucking key, not a diary. You can use it to open doors, start the electricity, but it's useless on its own. You need some place to stick it. And before I tell you where you can stick it, get out. You'll give him your fucking headache. Ravik, you fucking bastard. Why did you come back for this mission? Everything went wrong. So many people. So many wonderful people. Luan, it seems we're done here. Come on, let's go. Yeah. Walt's turned the power on with this key for the first time in years. And I doubt he did that out of the kindness of his heart. And you don't give a fuck? Frank, get your shit together. You were a legend. Fucking commander of the Night Runners. Do you even remember that? That Frank is dead, Luan. He died with the others at the TV station. Why the fuck would Walt turn on the power? Don't ask me. I don't have a clue. But if you're looking for the GRE database, you need to find a terminal to access it. The thing is, I... I have no idea where one could be. And those who knew are... probably long dead. But... the good news is we'll probably be dead ourselves soon enough. Cheers. Now, get the fuck out of my quarters. <clears throat> Fucking drunkard. You hear that? Fuck, something's happening. Will you check? I'm right behind you. Units. Renegades are in the central loop. I repeat, renegades are in the center. They're surrounding the fisheye. Can anyone hear me? Over.